space shuttle keeping making AM station <laughs> making AM station go off the air. Sounds funny to even say. It's the same guys that said we couldn't broadcast from the front of the building, uh-huh. too far away. These were engineers back when JD and I worked for um, was it Bonneville. Yeah, who now owns? Well, they don't own anything now, but they used to own uh, KZPS. Right. You guys were at, at the time it was KAAM, right? KAAM and yeah. KAFM, and the AM station was working on it at the time. For one day, it kept going off the air. Uh huh. Vance and Claude. Yes. Good memory. Vance Henley. Damn. I'd forgotten that. They told us the AM station, instead of going to check, right? they said it was a space shuttle. <laughs> they weren't kid. No. They believed it. I still, I still have... <laughs> All I know is we kept going off the air, and I went, go get an engineer, and somebody said, that well, they're gone for the day, and I took one of those huge tapes we used to store songs on and threw it through the clo- uh, the, the wall clock. Later, they found out what it was after checking. There was construction going on in downtown Dallas and a tower. A, a crane, right. construction crane, mm-hmm. kept moving in and out of the way of the STL that linked up the radio station to the transmitter at Cedar Hill. So the little microwave signal that we used to get the signal from this studio to Cedar Hill right. would get blocked from time to time. <laughs> That's what it was. I still don't understand the the. the, the uh, I think they didn't want. They just didn't care. Well, how do you come up with a space shuttle? Yeah. Normally, you're going to have to explain it to the general manager, and not many, except Reed Rieger, would buy something like that. <laughs> I think they thought they thought it was bizarre enough that everybody go, oh, all right, okie doke. It's F- original. F and NASA. Yeah. A couple days later, space shuttle landed. It quit. Bruce. No, nah, actually, they moved the. Uh, they started bouncing the STL off of something else. I don't know what it was. You're the best. Why were we talking about engineers? Our phones. Our phones. Oh, the phones. The yeah. trunk lines. Yeah, the, but the phones work now, right? So far. All right. So there was water in the trunk line yesterday. Yes. Is that for real? Yes. Or is that the one that Jay uses? Because I know how Jay is. Jay will tell you anything, and he knows we're stupid, and we'll buy it. That's the one that they use every time. Anytime there's a problem with the phones, it's there's water in the trunk lines. So I went to Jay yesterday and said, tell me, is there water in the trunk lines? And he started cussing at me because that was the reason. (laughs) Well, I know when we get really bad rainstorms, my DSL goes down. And that's the phone company, so maybe it's got, I don't know. Phone lines are down. Oh, hang on. Let me check. Uh, the... Yeah, there's a launch at NASA today. <laughs> That's probably it. <laughs> All right. Hey, where is uh, where's the CD that we used at the beginning of the show with a montage? <laughs> oh, is it on mini desk? Because mm-hmm. I'd forgotten about those uh, the two hay seeds. Oh man. Dan, right. did you keep a phone number or anything on them? Uh, I'll see if I've got it. Do you remember their names? Harry and um, Harris. Harris. Harris and what was the chick's name? Jamie. What cut is it on here, JD? Uh, the last one, I think it's 12 or 13. Whatever the last one is. But it's, uh, yeah, and that took a lot of editing. It's like a 15 minute bit. It took oh, it was. I did it down. Is that what this whole bit is? No. Because I just flipped on the radio and I heard that and I went, damn. You back when uh, you made fun of Lane Staley because you said little black oh, angels come into heaven. Thing. What is that supposed to mean, man? That is not, that's not fun. I remember that. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. Now, granted, I know this played just 10 minutes ago. Yeah. But I missed it. So screw you. Play it again. <laughs> I forgot about this, too. Yeah. Yeah, you did. We talked about because I said I read this, I read a story about the fact that the room was covered in flies. <laughs> you said, oh, my angels. <laughs> hey, man, see, uh, did I really say that? Yeah. yeah. You got to admit that's that's funny. If I said that, little black angels came to take you. <laughs> <laughs> the room was covered. <laughs> the room was covered. 
This is totally what I'm talking about. You're just making fun of that. And I mean, that has nothing to do with the way he died. You're, you're, that's just disrespectful. Well, he's doing drugs. <laughs> I got no respect for anybody that dies from doing drugs anyway. Yeah, no. I, I, I must be dead because that. I see the light, and here come the little black angels. There are they? <laughs> here to take me to heaven. Going to heaven. <laughs> It's like it's going to take more little black angels to get me there. That's what flies are. God can't be there. God's a little black on voice. No. <laughs> you could be busy with... i got to start listening at the beginning of the show. There's some funny stuff there. Those are fun to do. <clears throat> you know, problems in Afghanistan or whatever. He can't be there the day that, like, you know, Lane Staley dies. Stop. And it's not really worth sending the good angels. <laughs> you get the little retarded black angels. <laughs> Is that where we actually came up with the term buzz? Yeah. I miss that. <laughs> hey, Harris. It's Russ. Can I talk to you back on the air? Okay. I got your wife on the other line. No. -uh. She called in. Really? Yeah, you want to, you want to talk to her? She wants to talk to me. Yeah. Okay, good. How long ago was this, do you know? Man, I don't remember. It's been since we've been here. Two months? Yeah, a couple of months. I'll bet you $50 okay. that they got back together. Boy, she was mad. Make I mean, any difference. They both sound... They're both nuts. Yeah, that's true. She's with a guy... Uh, this Hello, Jamie? Yes? I can't even tell you how happy I am you've called. Can he hear me? Yeah. Listen here. When don't, he gets home... Hey, don't cuss at him. I ain't cussing, but when he gets home, it's yeah. all good. Because I'm going to tell you what. You have no not, you have no room to be calling in and talking all this crap. You got me pregnant with Mackenzie on purpose. You walked all over me like a piece of crap for eight damn years. Is that right, Harris? Yeah, it is. You walked all over? Yeah. Why? He talked to me like I was a piece of crap. I was just a jerk for you. I mean, listen how stupid she is. I know. Just she and I'll bet you. Well, first of all, I'm sure you know she's no uh, prize in the Cracker Jack box. No. So you probably she's probably not going to find anybody good. Well, he was probably behaving this way before they got married too, and yeah. he, she was a participant in getting pregnant. Excuse me, you got me pregnant. Excuse me, who was not taking the pill? Yeah. And see, guys don't change. No. What you get before you get married is what you get after you get married. Chicks change when they get married. Totally. Boy, just... There's one guy here in the building. He said the day, the absolute day they got married, she changed. I got a friend like that right now. You know what I'm talking about. Do I? Yes. Who? I'm not going to say it out loud. Mouth it again. Who? Anyway, friend. <laughs> the day you got married, literally, the day she goes, spell it. Night and day. <laughs> Am... <laughs> All right, tell me really quick. Oh, yeah. I know him. Yes. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Good. But there was a guy in the building like that, too. Yeah. The day of. Say, I got a question. No, don't. Please. <laughs> Just play this. Please don't. Really. Don't. Whatever you're going to do. You don't know what I'm going to ask. That's totally in your eyes. Please don't. You know that's serious. No. <clears throat> Well, that's I think it's going to work out between him and Probably her. not, but let it let it take how its long, course. How long do you think before it's over? <clears throat> it's supposed to be in the works now, but I'm not sure. Really? I'm not sure. You think he'd talk to us after that? Oh, yeah, after that, yeah. Okay. Here, man. Yeah, you were, and then you got to call and have the nerve. I hurt you. You know who called me? Robert and Jamie called me and told me to turn it on. Uh-oh. <laughs> you think you're sneaky, don't you? I didn't post 
Dr. Bright yesterday about this crap. You move some guy in into your house and then give him a list of things to do, right? Okay, uh, you know what? He better be glad that's all I've done to him since what he's done to me over the years. Instead of buying a damn baby bed and maternity clothes for me without my mom having to buy maternity clothes, he was out putting chrome bumpers and stuff on a truck. That's the money behind my back when I never took him. Springer and kiss my ass. <laughs> Did you find it, Dan? Damn. He never throws anything away. No, he doesn't, because he knows I'm an ass, and I'll always... The, the day he throws something away is the absolute... It could be seven years, and he'll throw it away, and that'll be the day I go, Hey, it's a phone number for Jamie and Harris. You suck. <laughs> yeah, I'm impressed. Mm. If you asked me for something I had yesterday, gone. <laughs> gone. Are you actually going to produce for your own show? No. You're going to get a producer? Well, yeah, one of the guys is going to act as producer, but I'm going to have to help him along, yeah. Hmm. You're not even going to produce your own show? Well, I'm going to work with him, yeah. Oh, okay. We're all going to work together as a cohesive... So you will have a producer and sidekicks. So what's what's wrong with him? Do you not have... <laughs> <laughs> Just the face. Yeah, crying. I know. That was lost on the air, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. Yeah, see it again. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, who who's been my tutor for the last five years? You have. No, you have been my tutor for the last five years. Oh. Everything you know, everything I've learned about current radio is from you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you going to run your own board? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't like the idea of somebody else running it. Okay, who do I want to call first? Let's see if Jamie will answer. That's the chick, right? Yeah, the home number is the same for both of them, so. Well, then let's just try the house then. All right, who wants to bet first before I get them on the phone? Together or not? It's been months. Um... I'll go together. I'll stay together. Hold on, let me write this down. Still mad, but going to still together. JD, together. Dan, uh, there's a baby involved. I have to say together. Dan, together. not happy, but together. Eddie, new husband. New husband? Yeah. Okay. Eddie, new husband. I was going to go together and pregnant again. <laughs> Did they just have a baby? But yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's ooh. Yeah. Ooh, hold on. Oh, I need some think time. <laughs> All right, so you want to add a baby to the thing? Yeah, I say together and pregnant. And that's their motivation for staying together. Okay. Ooh, I don't know now. <laughs> I can't decide. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wait. <laughs> All right. There's just so many possibilities. I know. Is the other guy still living in the house? Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, they're probably all together, and the guy, the the extra guy, is still someplace in the picture, and she's using him to keep Harris in check. Yeah. You don't keep your ass straight. I'm taking, you know, guy number two in. <laughs> we ain't got no money on this. No. Uh, I, th I think they're still together. Yeah, I'm a
We're sorry. Uh, the number you dialed is not a working number. Please right. consult your directory and dial. Let me double check just to make sure. Right. That's a bad sign. That's not good. Plus he beat her with the phone. <laughs> We never got last names, did we? No. We're sorry. Okay. No. I, now let's go to the sales. Right. The backup. Yeah. Let's go with Jamie. Because between the both of them, she's the one that's going to wig out. Mm -hmm. It's all good. It's so typical of a woman who just a totally freak. Now, granted, he was a jerk. But, you know, who married him? I'm so excited. The number you dialed is not a working number. Wow. Please check the number and dial again. In okay. Now let's try Harris's cell. I can't want to change mine to murder suicide. <laughs> Message AR22. Welcome to AT&T Wireless Services. The number you have called is, is no longer a murder suicide. <laughs> you feel you have reached this recording in error. They're all bad now. Mm. Within a couple of months. Eddie, can you still do like a um, cross check? Yeah. That's what I'm about to do. Okay. Because sometimes they don't update the internet records that quick, so the old number would still show where they where they live. Yeah. You can try pulling those up. I have to know. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe yeah, I bet. Ooh, pregnant again. You got me pregnant. I told you to pull out. <laughs> Love that mentality. You got me pregnant. Right. Exactly. She wasn't there for it. What he did, he went and whacked in a cup, and when she was asleep, poured he it. just kind of poured it in mm -hmm. and then mooshed it around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told you to pull out. <laughs> <laughs> be like crap. Ah, all right. You ready to start news while Dan's digging this stuff up? Yeah. We all right, Eddie? We take a short one? Don't lie to me. Just that many minutes. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a short break for us. <laughs> I never knew Eddie had that many fingers on one hand. <laughs> you find anything yet, Dan? Not yet. All right. We'll be back. edition Russ Martin show police and fire poster is on sale now. Only 500 are available. They are $15 and signed by everyone on the show. To buy yours, go to russmartin.com. Are you set to go? Yes. Can you give me the news, uh, the audio already? Yep. All right. All right, here we go. 3.37, J.D. Ryan's on the news. 105.3 FM Talk with News. Hey, if you're Russ, news is brought to us by Service King. And by Down Under Pub and Grub. I'll be out there for the Cowboy game this Sunday, 12 o'clock, pretty much on. Preston Road, just north of 121 in Frisco. The place to hang out, have a little cocktail. Plus, if you want 25 bucks a quarter, just put your name up on the board for free. And I'll have tickets to the White Trash Party October the 18th. Featuring Loverboy. So we'll see you there on Sunday. All right, Thursday, October 10th, it is. Mario Lopez turns 29 today. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is 28. Tanya Tucker, 44. David Lee Roth is 47. Sharon Osborne turns 50. And Ben Barine is 56. Just moments before a Senate test vote today. 
Get this. Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle threw his support behind a resolution allowing President Bush to use force against Iraq. Daschle was uh, last of four congressional leaders to sign on to the resolution, which was expected to pass with a wide margin in both chambers. The resolution also allows Bush to take unilateral, unilateral action to prevent Saddam Hussein from continuing to build weapons of mass destruction. Of course, the uh, sniper stories continue up in the D.C. area here on cut number one. Media psychologist, she's back. Dr. Joyce, Joyce Brothers says easy access to guns may incite a psychopath to action. It's easy access to nuts. That's kind of what I thought. I don't want to hear this again. <laughs> I gave it to you. You just handed me this. What are the other Some days you're so stupid. No, there it is. You handed it back to me. You handed it to me. Don't give me that. That's puss. the one you just threw at me a second ago. Went, here's the new stuff back. So I, I didn't say here's the new stuff. I just said here. Oh, all right. My fault. What cut? One. Doctor Drake Brothers. Easy access to guns. I mean, sight psychopaths. All right. To action. Here it comes. Okay. Doctor. The Russ Martin Show. Are you retarded? <laughs> All right, I lost it. <laughs> Hold on. Try this one. Thank you. What cut? One. Okay, I don't have it. I'm not digging with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll just say what she said. It's Gunn's fault. Is that all she said? No, nah, it's about the 26 seconds. Saying basically you put a gun in a room and makes everybody more aggressive, which I thought was a ridiculous statement. That's the reason I pulled it off. Normally you put a gun in a room and it makes everybody else more defensive. Was her point was a gun in a room full of just normal people will bring up the aggression level. So when you make, make guns accessible to people, it brings out the psychopath in people. What? No, the psycho psychopath is already there. Yeah. That's just an instrument. Yeah. I mean, really, would it make you feel better if, you know, somebody killed me with a, a, a lawnmower? Mm -mm. Psychopaths come along once in a blue moon. Thank you. I found it. There it is. Okay. No thanks to you. You had it all along. I did not. make me look like an idiot. All right, now what did she say here? Uh, she was. She says, easy access to guns may incite a psychopath to action. Another different one. Ass. Oh, goodness. The psychopath who wants to play God and has the ability to use a gun and has a gun, uh, guns can precipitate behavior. When you put a gun in a room on a table and have people come into the room and talk, the very presence of the gun, even though it has no relationship to anything, the presence of the gun increases the level of aggression. I I'm going to put any stock in anything that she says. She was on that show 21 back in the 50s where they all got busted for knowing the answers. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that's right. Everybody else got the answers, but you're ugly ass. She's <laughs> just coming out of there, coming out of the woodwork with, you know, little... Ways of catching this guy. Okay, so now what? I mean, what does that mean? That helps me how. Go find this guy. Well, the, her next cut is uh, she was asked what sort of things the police should take notice of while they search for this. How about snipers? Guys with guns. Yeah. Assault rifles. Next guy. We're running out of mini discs. I'm putting things together. If I were part of the team looking for this person, I would look at car rental receipts in the areas in which he seems to have his comfort zone uh, because I don't believe the truck is available. I think it's been put under some water somewhere or parked in a remote place. But I think it's more likely that the person has a hunting cabin somewhere in the woods, pretty dilapidated one, because the person is likely to be unemployed. And I would look for one that had a lot of electronic equipment so that he could be, and I think he has a buddy. Well, we found him. It's our buddy Matt, the computer guy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think of that. <laughs> think about it. Yeah. He doesn't have a job. Uh -uh. Always messing with computers. Mm -hmm. 
lives in a little dilapidated apartment. He's the sniper. Yeah. Dr. Joyce Brothers broke the case. Call the police. Dan. <laughs> we don't have to continue. Uh, they could watch the havoc that they're creating. How's this guy with a dilapidated place and no job get all this electronic equipment? That's what I want. Yeah, and why would she... Why, why would that even come come into play? Why would you... you, you need How to, does it figure in? It didn't. That's why I just thought it was... Really, and, and who put a mic in front of her and went, I bet she can solve it. Because anybody is looking... Because they can't find the guy. Yeah. And you know how people get for information. So they'll take any anything and they'll broadcast it. All right. Just like we did. Mm-hmm. I did I did because it was funny. I guess it was accurate. Oh, okay. Dallas Fort Worth and the suburbs joining forces to bring more business to the region by establishing a strong brand for the Metroplex. You like this? They've come up with a new slogan for Dallas Fort Worth. You ready? This is gonna bring tons of business now. Wait now, a minute, let me think. Never yeah. mind the city council and all the problems we have. This slogan is gonna do Well, it. first of all, who came up with it? Uh da- Dallas Coalition. Members of the Dallas Coalition for uh bringing more business to Dallas Fort Worth. Let me think. You can vote on this, by the way, at NBC5i.com. Let me think. <coughs> Is it a big slogan or just like a two or three word phrase? One, two, three, four. Four words after DFW. DFW dash. Then it explains everything about Dallas Fourth. It's making business rush here. DFW. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's like two words. Oh. I don't know. What is it? The where with all. The where, comma, with all. I like mine better. I do, too. If you think you got a better one, by the way, go to NBC5i.com. Uh, how could it be any worse? <laughs> Australian scientists believe they've rediscovered an effective use for lemon juice as a contraceptive and also a killer of the AIDS virus. Reproductive psych- uh, psychologist uh, Roger Short said a few drops of lemon juice can be cheap and an easy solution to protect women from both HIV and pregnancy. Wouldn't that burn? You would think the juice, that's why I thought, the juice should be squeezed onto a sponge or cotton wool and placed into the vagina before sex. That w- oh, it's into the woman. Yes. Oh, it's okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you mean you got to rub it on the guy. But now lemon juice. All this, all this research, all these doctors. Are- I mean, lemon juice would burn on that, wouldn't it? I would think up there it would certainly burn. Lemon or lime juice, he says, also works. Want me to see if we have any? Yes. <laughs> I have open wounds. <laughs> Trust me. I got blood on my keyboard, you know. Oh, God. I can't get it off either. I believe you. And I used Bonami. <laughs> And he's the only one in the room that got that one. You didn't get that, O'Malley. You did not. Okay, villainous oil man, J.R. Ewing, is going to get shot. Or a shot. You know what movie that was from? Uh, I remember hearing that. I can't remember what it was from. from thing. Ghost of Mr. Chicken. Okay. Blood on the, the piano keys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She did little bits, kept saying they used Bonnie and me. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Another funny joke from me. All right. Uh, once from the from the Hollywood's officially out of ideas file, well, then J.R. Ewing about to get shot again. A production company based at 20th Century Fox is striking a seven-figure deal to turn the primetime soap opera into a feature film. No writer has yet been attached to the Dallas remake. They going to use anybody from the original? I didn't say. Yeah, probably not. They should. That'd be a smart way to do it. Well, at least Larry Hagman and who's the chick that played his wife? Linda Gray. No. Yeah, that's Linda right. Gray? Yeah. Uh, Victoria Principal still looks pretty good. Uh, Lucy Ewing, yeah. chick that stood us up in L.A. What's her name? Charlene yeah, Charlene Tilton. She's too fat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> too gross and fat. I wouldn't have her on there. Mm-hmm. Well, she calls us back. <laughs> okay. Actress Teresa Graves, who starred as the undercover cop in the 70s television police drama Get Christy Love, died in a fire at her home. Really? She was 50. I used to have the hots for her. She was 53. Firefighters uh, found her unconscious in her bedroom, and she was taken to the hospital and died. Damn. Yeah, 53. Strange. Harry Belafonte, creator of Deo, the banana song, banana boat song, uh, found it necessary earlier this week to compare Secretary of State Colin Powell to a plantation slave. Did he say it? Who, yes. Did he, he drop he, it he on him? drop the N-word now. Oh. Who tries to win. What about Colin Powell? Did he drop it? No, he didn't. Oh, that he tries would be funny. Win, he tries to win favor with his master so he can move into the master's house. Yesterday, uh, Powell responded 
basically saying, if Harry wanted to attack my politics, that's fine. He called him a crazy one, didn't he? No, he didn't. But to use a slave reference, I think, is a throwback to another time and another place, and I wish Harry had thought twice about using it. There's no reason to even bring, as much as I'd like to, <laughs> there's no reason to bring racism into that. No. Absolutely not. I mean, why didn't he attack anybody else on the, the, the White House staff? Just because Colin Powell is black? Or supposed to be? Yes. And because he agrees with the Bush administration. Yeah. Well, he, in principle, are obviously already agrees with Bush in principle. Did I say that twice? Yeah. But that's you right. get the idea. Yeah. yeah. Or he wouldn't be there. Idiot. Yeah. And finally, from Cosmo. Remember, this is Cosmo. Here are some things that uh, times you need to let your man off the hook, ladies. Uh, there's one, two, there's four of them. Uh, number a hundred of them. <laughs> Sometimes you let him off the hook. He occasionally keeps in touch with an ex. Unless he was involved in a real ugly breakup, there's no reason for him not to occasionally check in with his ex and see how she's doing. Cosmo puts this in this way. If a man is on good terms with an ex, then he's way too involved to be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> what? I tell him. He's way too involved to be cheating. That's what Cosmo's saying. I don't understand. It, and it, they're just saying if you keep in touch with an ex, you know, it means he's probably a nice guy in general. He probably No, know. that means he's leaving his options open. How do they misconstrue that? Because it's Cosmo. It's chicks. I don't, but they're they're misleading their readers. It's like Well, that's fine. I'm glad they're putting it in there. Because uh, if you're a chick, if I'm dating you and you think you're staying in touch with your ex, hmm, we've been down that road. I didn't like it. I didn't like it when it happened. I didn't like it at 2 o'clock in the morning when I was standing on the hood of my car looking over the fence to see if she was, he was banging her inside her own house. Well, they shouldn't go, bitch! What? They shouldn't go out together, but occasional call or There's whatever. no reason for a call. The relationship is over. If you're not married and you didn't have a kid and you don't have any property someplace together, mm -hmm. if there's no reason to be talking, then there's no reason to be talking. Thus the phrase, there's no reason to be talking. Okay. Thank you. Well, J.D., you stay in touch with your ex, don't you? Uh, no, one. Yeah, the one that got sick. Calls, calls her once in a while. Well, that one's okay. You have a reason to be talking. You're yeah. concerned about her health. So anyway. Uh, number two, he disagrees with you. These are reasons you let him off the hook. In the very early stages of a relationship, a guy will say practically anything to please you. After a while, once he's comfortable with you, he's more honest, more likely to give you his honest opinion. So if he disagrees with you, it doesn't mean he's trying to break up. It just means he's comfortable. Number three, out of four, he has female friends. Many women think guys are incapable of having a platonic relationship with a woman. Cosmo insists that most men are indeed capable of having female friends who they don't want to have sex with. <laughs> I'm so glad that women still believe that. Because that... This is this month's Cosmo. Because we get guys all the time that'll call up and bitch at me and go, you're letting all the chicks have the secrets that we can't have, you know, platonic friends. I'm telling you, they don't buy it. That could be the, the thrust of this show every day, four hours a day, for the next 20 years, and they're not going to buy it. Shake and I'm, I'm thrilled. And finally... Uh, if sometimes he makes plans without you, even if you you and your man are in the habit of spending Friday and Saturday nights together, you shouldn't get all bent out of shape when he decides to spend the night out with his buddies. He's doing it because he thinks your relationship is solid enough to spend an evening away from you. A guy wrote that. <laughs> I don't care if it's in Cosmo, and I don't care if it's got a chick byline. A guy wrote that. I think so, too. That was pretty funny. And I don't know how he got it in there. But he's a genius. Because it went by a female editor, and she went, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah, good to go. All right, there's news and probably more information than you need. It's brought to us by Strokers, right behind Easy Riders. I'll be there uh, tomorrow night from 9 to 11 o'clock if you want the Harley-Davidson Open Road Tour t uh, tickets featuring Aerosmith and Stone Temple Pilots. Come on and grab those from me tomorrow night, 9 to 11. I'm J.D. Ryan on the Talk at Rocks, Texas. It's the new 105.3 FM Talk. Fifty-seven to check on traffic. Jonathan Dodge at the controls of the new 105.3 FM Talks White Line. Then live, thank you, Russell. This report brought to you by Nextel and by Streams in Dallas northbound I-35 South RL Thornton just after Illinois. There's a bird out here. It was a car fire. 
but we missed it. Now it's just a burn down. Hope people slow it down to take a look. Westbound, I-20, and I-35. There's an accident there. Just about cleared out of the way. Traffic is starting to unwind. That one should be cleared up in about another minute or two. This report struck to you by the Texas Lottery. Hey, Texas, are you feeling lucky? Then the Texas Lottery has your number. It's Super Lucky 7. You can win it to $77,000. Play Super Lucky 7 today. That's traffic. I'm Jonathan Dodge. In the new 1053 FM. What? Like it. Right, thank you, Jonathan. Cloudy, and then it should be clearing up a little bit tonight. 60 for the overnight low. Getting warmer and prettier tomorrow. Should be 81 and 81 or 2 for Saturday. That'll be a pretty weekend. We have uh, 74 degrees currently at the Talk That Rocks, Texas. New 105.3 FM Talk. Eddie, is this tattoo? Because it's not as dark as it used to be. Yeah, well, as, got it. as it heals, the skin grows over it, so it'll, it'll fade a, a little, little bit. bit. And that's why you get it up on your shoulder because you see people get them on their hands where you use it a lot. Yeah. It, it tends to fade more where you get more exposure to things. But up on your shoulder, once, probably in two weeks, that'll be the way it'll stay. Yeah, because it's already started to look like it's fading. Yeah. It's just the skin regrowing over where uh, you put the ink in. Because it scabs up a little, doesn't it? Yep. You've been putting Neosporin on it and stuff? <clears throat> they told me not to put on Neosporin. He gave me something else. He said Neosporin makes it dry out. Uh, I, that was all I ever used. Yeah. It's still supposed to hurt. I mean, like... It's been a week. No, it's just, been almost a week. Is it kind of itchy hurt? It just feels like a sunburn going away. Yeah, it's a, it's about like that. Okay. <sighs> just the, the trials of being a man. Yeah. yeah. It hurt. <laughs> You've had a lot in a, in a week. You got a tattoo, you got your... Your mind has to me your uh, circumcision. I've... What? And this stupid bastard bet. I <laughs> know. It's all too much in one week. Let's call it off. Cause Let's call I, it off. I went home. Can we? We do the same bit every time, and it's the same punchline every time. <laughs> we make this bit, and we're going to stick to it, and then we find out how much it'll cost to buy each other out. I know. <laughs> But I'm weak. I mean, <laughs> I wish I wish it had a funnier punchline. I wish something different would happen so it'll throw the listeners off. But I can't stand it! Because I can't go home and I can't whack because I'm still he- healing down there. And I can't drink. Ooh. So I have uh, I have no release. I thought you'd bust it yeah, last night. When I heard you were going to have three. Oh, it was dangerously close. I thought you'd bust it. I went, I'm not going to bring it up. Because I didn't sit down and just out of habit and go, Jack, I didn't go. Mm-mm. We went to, um, there you go, <clears throat> Papa Do's on the tollway. Mm-hmm. So Reed and Bob, formerly of the Reed and Bob show, <laughs> Reed and Bob are already sitting at the uh, the bar waiting to get a table. Well, Bob had had three beers before I got there. Now he's working on his fourth Corona. Reed always orders a bottle of wine, not a glass, a bottle. Mm-hmm. Then when that's out, he has a couple more glasses. So they're sitting there getting embalmed. I walked up. <laughs> we talked for a second. I order an O'Doul's. Hmm. Bartender comes up. He goes, we were all wondering what you were going to get. Oh, geez. <laughs> they're watching you. We haven't been in... Uh, um, Papado's on the tollway since we were there to celebrate something, what was it, a year ago? Yeah. That's when I reworked my contract. That's when the whole novation thing started. So, I don't know what the hell. So then we go get a table. Totally different part of the restaurant. Now I'm having a Diet Coke. Chick walks by and says, you sure you want some Jack in that? Oh, Every bastard in there was uh, keeping an eye on me to see what I was going to have. She even said, you know what, for $200, I'll let you drink and I won't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't dare go out anywhere. Did you, you not understand that you could just go ahead and go home and drink if you wanted to and just not say anything? Right. Well, they're just all being cute. It was yeah. just... It's, it's, I've been in radio... What is this? 2002? Mm-hmm. Long time. 40 years. <laughs> Got in right after the service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The post-war radio boom. Right. Oh, yeah. As soon as I got out of the AWACS, I got right into radio. <laughs> the AWACS. What? <laughs> okay. Did you work on one of the border bandit stations when those first started? What, with the AWACS? No, along, along the Mexican border. Those, the, 
the yes. border blasting station. Yeah, I mean uh, Wolfman Jack. Yeah, XERF. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. And XERF, Ciudad Acuna, Del Rio, Texas. I remember that. It's all my dad listened to when I was a kid. Right after I got out of the service. <laughs> Where was I going with this stupid story? It's been on radio 40 years and... Oh, I've never seen anything like this. It's not like we're on television Mm-mm. to where you see us all the time. I'm not going to the Apple. I'm not going anywhere. I just can't. Well, they know you at the yes, Apple. They, they don't me. know me at Papa Do's. That's true. If they see me with a Coke, they'll call in the next day. Who's drinking? Ever gets off yesterday for a, a, a ticket? A, a lawyer gets off a ticket. Yes. And the cop writes him a little thank you note. I'm sorry. This is just weird. <laughs> and I'm not paying a dollar for that because it is. It is. It's strange. I should have reworked my contract again last night. And I could have. Why? Because they were absolutely stoned out of their minds. It's kind of weird. It's not fun. It's much fun to be around drunks, though, when you're totally sober. It's, it's kind of irritating at times. When you're stone sober. Yeah. But... <laughs> It was almost like I was getting a contact high just by sitting at the same table because after sitting there for a half an hour, I found myself slurring, slurring a little bit, but I wasn't drinking. <laughs> but just out of habit, I knew 35 minutes into a conversation, it's about time to slur. And Jesus, getting home was too damned easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're kidding. I know you are. But it was. <laughs> okay. I'm still kidding. So we calling it off? Well, all right. We'll if we on. call it off, we still got to pay uh, Dan and Eddie because they were in on the bet too. Call it off? It's off. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have to do anything. Yeah. They get money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If if you call a mutual, quit. Yeah. Shut up, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> then Eddie and I should receive some Shut sort up, of Dan. compensation. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, technically, we can drink tomorrow night. We can wait till tomorrow night at midnight. That's that's. Can you wait that long? Because then we got Saturday. Then we got Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, maybe if I get really good and sick on Saturday, that'll hold me till next Friday. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, the end of the white trash party, twelve o'clock. You can drink again. I don't know. I didn't realize I'd miss it so much. I think it's because I got too many things I can't do all at once. I can't go home and bury myself in porn. Mm-hmm. For at least another, you know, nine days. God, I came close today. I was dangerously close. I even went in the shower and checked and went, that don't look too bad. <laughs> maybe, God, maybe, oh. maybe if I wrap this end up really tight oh. in gauze, I can just play on this part of the playground. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, Dr. Fetner wanted to know if uh, you wanted him to come up and check it tomorrow. I want him to look at it. I want Shannon to look at it. All of it. Well, she's coming up tomorrow to give you your flu shot. I want a flu shot. Sure you do. Okay. Will she look at it? <laughs> I'm I sure want, she will. I don't want him to look at it. I want her to look at it. She can look at it, and she can also rewrap it for you. Just, you know, because you want a professional wrap job. Yeah. Exactly what I want. <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? About quitting the bet. Oh, yeah. Let's dwell on that. Dan, you and Eddie decide. <laughs> <laughs> How much we want. This is the same <laughs> damn bit as last oh, time. Every single time, it's got the same payoff. We do the big bet. We may last a week or two, and then we realize, hey, this is stupid. Well. Thomas, my realtor, knows about the whole bet thing. So he's emailing me last night because, you know, after I had dinner with... Uh, uh, Read, read, and uh, Bob. That, Bob. Bob. I go home and I'm answering email and just checking stuff. He's sending me MPEGs of him drinking. <laughs> Are you down this? He's a bastard. Just and he, t- he would take the camera and just follow the shot glass. So you never saw him. You just saw his hand holding the shot glass mm-hmm. and actually see the shot glass tilting just below the camera. So it's like I was drinking. <laughs> You know, worry is that it's he's a pus covered rooster. <laughs> That's good though. Shouldn't it, shouldn't it worry us though that it's this difficult? No. 
Bob and Reed were trying. Reed bought me three Jack and Cokes last night. And I kept telling, I went, I'm not doing it. He goes, I'll pay the $400. Really the point. The yeah, one. I know. That's what I told him. I went, I could go home and lie and go ahead and drink. The yeah. point is, I need to stop during the week. Yeah. When their liver goes, it's not going to affect you. Yeah, because Reed said, well, how many drinks do you have when you go home? I went, eh, two or three. That's okay. <laughs> Larry Hagman thought. <laughs> yeah, when your liver goes bad on you, your kidneys or whatever the hell you ride out. Dan, you and Eddie decide how much you want for the... The buyout this go round as I take this. Yes, Vinny? Hey, Ross. <clears throat> hey, do you got a bottle of Jack Daniels in front of you right now? Oh, it's Vinny from the Platinum Club. Oh. By the way, they um, they paid for my tattoo. That oh. was that was their birthday present to me. Oh. Once again, a very thoughtful gift. Very thoughtful. I guess what I got for you for Christmas. Here we go. Well, I'm wondering, hey, do you have a, a problem with L.A. coming into town um, like right before Christmas? Russ? You mean to... to you know, to, L.A. I know who you're talking about. I mean, to... You don't mean to come stay with me. You, you're you talking about like a signing or something there at... Uh, yeah, having her come, come over. Yeah. Having her come over to the planet. She's so. a feature. So, yeah. yeah. You got a problem with that? I, you know, because I don't want to piss you off or anything. Why would that piss me off? Um, well, you know, the girl is in love with you, man. Um, what do you think? I don't want... I'm calling you before I do this. I'm sorry, I can't focus. There's a commercial on on TV for the Air Force. I saw the afterburner. I thought about the Batmobile. I locked up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Would you go back to drinking? <laughs> Why? Because I can't focus. You just can't focus. It's not. It's, not, it's got yeah, nothing to do with the drinking. It's the Batmobile. It's I even got emails from chicks last night wanting to know about it. They want to ride in the Batmobile. I don't know what it is. That's going to be. I, could, I can't. Shoot. Honest to God, I can't imagine why anybody would get a flying f what I'm getting. And even while we're talking about it on the air yesterday, I'm going, I know everybody's flipping the radio off. I wouldn't sit through this. Mm -hmm. All right, she's coming when? Um, the first week of December. And I got a great deal on her because I don't have to worry about hotel because she already told me whenever she goes in town, she's staying at your house. Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah. She said she could stay with you anytime she wanted because that's what love is all about. <laughs> Vinny? Buddy. Is this a funny bit that no. you and Dan have concocted? Uh, no, December 4th, 5, 6, and 7 <clears throat> at the Platinum Club. <clears throat> By the way, you're paying for this spot. <laughs> <laughs> and you're paying my hotel, so that makes it even. I am not. She cannot stay with me. Um, wow. And what makes you think she's still in love with me? Oh, it's just the way she talks about you. Russ this, Russ that. I'm going to do the Russ Martin show. When, wait, dude. I'm going to do the Russ Martin show when I come into town. She already told me she's doing your show. How did I leave? I can't even remember because it's, this, I've had so many conversations with her on the air, off the air. Bits, not a bit. Joking around. It's been the last learned. time we... Yeah. What, was the la what was the last way we left this? I'm you, out. You were going to call her off the air. I don't even know if I did. Uh, you, when I asked you about it a day or two later, you said you never got around the call. I lie about it so much, I don't even know what the real story is. Mm. Well, so, honest to God, Vinny, she's, she's, first, she's serious about staying with me. Oh, yeah. I, and you really think that she still is in love with me? Yeah. I could hear her jumping up and down through the phone when I said, why don't you come back to Dallas for a couple of days? Oh, Russ is there. Okay. And it won't cost you like $15,000 because I'm paying to have her in town. Oh, that's just cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it took me a second to get that. Yeah. You oh. Last time, if I remember right, last time you actually talked to her, you, you mentioned before we got her on the air yeah. that you were get, kind of getting used to the idea of the out call thing. Did I say that on the air? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. I honestly got said that on the air. Yeah. I think I said that off the air. No, you said it on the air, but you were kind of getting used to it. I don't believe I said that on the air. I don't think I'd be that stupid to say that I would actually get used to some type of prostitution. Just get used to it. Just have her come in town. You didn't want to have a relationship with her still. Vinny, what are you doing? <laughs> you breaking a new dancer? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Where are you? 
At my house. Oh, okay. I, I don't have any problem with her coming into town. She okay. she can't stay with me, though. You sure about that? How long is she going to be in town? Well, you know what? That doesn't matter. She can't, you know. She'll be in from Tuesday and fly out on a Sunday. No. Rega regardless if it's a day or, or a week, she can't. You sure about that? Mm -hmm. But what do I care who you got to feature? Well, it's your ex. You know, we have to make sure that we keep things good with you. She's not my ex. I just banged her. Oh, okay. I heard the words, I love you out of her, so. You never heard me say it. Once. Uh, yeah, we did. What? Yeah, we you did. You did. I said it on the air. Yeah, you did. Okay. Well, she said you said it off the air. Well, she can say a lot of things. She's a porn star. Okay. Okay, we're all buying this. So you're okay with this? Let me think. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right with it. <laughs> yeah, but she said when you call her, tell her she's not staying with me. Well, I'll call, I'll call her and tell her to call you about her hotel range. Vinny, I got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Don't drag me into it. This has been weird enough as it is. Okay. Well, we're doing it. Damn, you're hiring some young ones, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That way they don't got to wear pasties. That's right. <laughs> Man, that's, that's enough. That's just kid. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, just call her and tell her whatever, Vinny. All right. Done deal, brother. All right. Thank you again for the tattoo. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Let her come to town. Let her stay with you. You're okay with that. I've, this you is said that before you wanted. Things have changed. But since things have changed, you said I wouldn't mind banging her. Obviously, there's no relationship here. I'm getting weak. I'm getting weak? You said you were getting weak. Well, look at the body. I'm with. That's what I'm saying. Where's that picture? Don't marry it. Right Just there. rent it. Look at that body. I've seen it. Look at that. Beautiful. He's... Sweet, fun, bubbly. But she was doing that. I the alcohol. She loves you. Well, I'm not saying marry her. Four days. She's in town. <laughs> Honest to God, I wish. First of all, if this was a radio bit, we'd have a funny punchline and this would be over and we'd be done with it and I'd move on. But I don't have an answer and I don't have a punchline and I'm not really sure what to do with this. If she wasn't so hot, I wouldn't even deal with it. See, therein lies the problem. Mm -hmm. she's, well, that's not just it because she's sweet and she's funny to be with. And you like her company and she likes yours for four days. It's not a lifetime. It's four days. But that whole out call service, that just screwed that up. Does it still not bother anybody else? It, it, it bothers me, but it's not the end of the world. She was more or less kind of doing the same thing, just with professionals. Now she's doing it with... Guys with a lot of money. Yes. It's the same thing. It's the same act. It's Other paid. girls would be doing it for free. It's the same act. You know, dating Having dating sex guys. And, and getting money no. for it. That was Wait a minute. What? I think you guys just talked me into it. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't even understand the logic you're using, Dan. Well, some chicks do it for free. Well, they have sex with a lot of guys. So what? I know, it's weird. Think about it. She said she's only done it like That's four, drink, 10 or 11 times. <laughs> you what? I need a drink. You got the shakes? No. Just kidding. Right? All right. 
Yes, Bill. Russ. Yes. Use it. Abuse it. It's four days of incredible, unbelievable sex. Is that right? Yeah. Then uh, where's the problem again? I mean, you're talking about four days of incredible sex. You're having sex with a porn star. Yeah, I know. A porn star is wanting to have sex with you. That I means know. for most of those people who can't figure this out, you must be pretty good. No, that's not well, it. Whatever, but anyway. Normally I'm pretty tr traditional when I climb into bed. <laughs> Sometimes I finish before I get there. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry to hear that, but take advantage of the situation. Uh, user, abuser. I'm tired of her. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> yeah, right. I've seen it. Seen it, been there, got the free t-shirt. She wanted to ride in the bat car. <laughs> oh, that's right, I'll have the bat car by then. The we, we can get we can get on the tollway there and we can race the back on the go go racer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Shut up. <clears throat>
It was just kind of weird because it was dark, and they're all staring, and I get up, and I go, Hey, buddy! <laughs> I go all the way up. <laughs> Is that Bob on the hotline? Yes, Bob. Honey, you are such a liar. You are that suit in bed. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second. I heard hold you. On. I was at home. Hold on. I really hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Maddie. Don't point at Dan. Dan. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's slick. <laughs> First of all, did you hear about it? Did I hear about what? That I'm coming to um, Texas, Dallas. Yeah, yeah Vinny called. I've, obviously, yeah, I already know because Dan did, did, just got you. Hold on, hold on a second. Did you just get her on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Vinny called earlier and said you were coming to town. Like the second, I don't know the, I don't know sometime in December. December fourth through the seventh. Yes. Yeah. Vin, Vinny also said you thought you were going to stay with me. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> with that big glorious house, I could bring Mika, or Mika could play with with um with Abby, and everyone will be happy. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh, you need some time to think about this, huh? Where are you right now? I just arrived in Daytona Beach for three days. I just got back from L.A. I was in L.A. for three days, and I'm here for three days. What were you I haven't been home in a month. What, were, what are you doing in L.A.? Um, I shot um, the box cover starring roles for the AVN, for the Adult Video News Expo. Mm -hmm. And um, I already shot one for Metro for the Expo as well. And um, after the Expo, I get to go back and shoot two more box covers. You're just doing box covers? You're not actually doing the movie? No, I'm doing the movie. I'm the star of the movies. So I don't want to be in them unless I'm the star of them. Oh, okay. Because I don't want to fly all the way out there and stuff just to be in a movie and not be on the box or anything. Uh, is, is that a big deal to be on the box cover? Oh, it's huge. For me to do 20 box covers, well, already I've done 15 box covers in this year alone. And um, that's equal as to one girl that would be doing 500, you know, scenes in one year. Why is it? Why do you get extra money? Oh, you can take it off the, the Spog McNeil on the the, 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 the <laughs> my computer screen. Uh, I don't even care. So you're in Daytona Beach now. Yeah, I just got at the hotel. I've been up since like quarter or four to get here from L.A. and I have to be on stage tonight, so I'm getting a little tired. Mm. But I'm, gonna, I'm going home for two days. I'm like so psyched. Yay. You're what? Days. Well, my, my whole tour, it was like I went from New Hampshire to um, Kansas City, Missouri to Lawrence, Kansas to Minneapolis. I could see my breath out there. Honey, it was so cold. And then I went all the way to L.A. for three days. Now I'm here for three days. I go home for two days. And then I'm in Peoria, Illinois for four days. So just. The schedule is just crazy. Do you know what it is? It slows down in January, so that's when I wanted to take my vacation. Mm. Where are you going to go for that? I don't know. I haven't chosen a date yet. And, oh, all the way. You never even called me for my birthday either. Yeah, we did. We called you right after, didn't we? Yeah, we did, because you just yeah, you were talking you about. Yeah, called me to see if I was mad at you. I did? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And I was like, no, whatever. Yeah. But that's okay because well, let's see. Let me think. Hold on a second. Place. I'm thinking I was at home on my birthday. I didn't get a phone call. Of course alone. not, because your birthday's after mine. You think I'm going to call you? Besides the fact that you dissed me, and I was supposed to do that whole hedonism thing. Did you do that? I didn't go. See, you know why? No. Because I wasn't there with my friends. Now, if I was there with my friends, we would have had a huge blowout, and everyone would have been happy and having fun. Yeah. But you didn't do that. No, you're right. You messed up. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, do any I more? Had an okay birthday. I mean, it was really nice. Everybody like was wicked nice. I got like two big humongous cakes. Everyone kept celebrating my birthday for like two days. Of course, um, it was just really crazy. Like these race cars were there. Like um, John J Jeff Gordon's mm -hmm. race cars were at the club. And you do anything really... with him? <laughs> Jeff Gordon? Yeah. No. Mm. What about the Gordon Fisherman? You do him? Quit. This is Gordon Fisherman. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> You're being jealous. Quit it. I did you. 
<laughs> By the way, I got my weenie fixed. Your weenie fixed? Uh huh. No, uh, what that little thing there? Yeah. You're lying to me. Uh uh-uh. uh. See, well, she was the one. She knew problem. About it. She was the one that pointed it out. Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. I never thought anything about it. Why would I think about that, you know, for 40 yeah. some odd years? You always said you thought you had a bad deal or did weren't circumcised at all. It was, all. It, was, it, was, it was, it looked like when he was circumcised, they cut it and then when they sewed it, it looked like it ripped and then the skin kind of flapped over a little bit. <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, you better go lock the front door because I know the chicks are pulling off John Carpenter now just yeah. to get sex. <laughs> it was a pretty penis. It wasn't bad. <laughs> Hey, uh, where's Frank and Peter? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all fixed now, but he won't leave it alone long enough to let you it You went back in and you had it worked on, like cosmetic surgery? No, all it took was just two snips. I went in there. I was in the doctor for another reason. I went, you know what? Take a look at this while you're here. See if I was circumcised. He went, yeah, you were. It's a bad job. You want me See? to fix it? Two seconds and we're done. And I'm the only chick that, that even says anything? Yeah. Is this the same guy that cut your testicles? Yes. Oh my God! Why couldn't he point that out the first time? Well, it wasn't in a in a, a state to where you would notice. Had to be ready for business before you notice. Yeah, exactly. You're right. Exactly, because I could see if it was like a mushroom, you couldn't see it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but the dad thing was cute, though. I'll miss that little trademark. We do have pictures of that. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Dan, why don't you go sit in the hall for can a while? I go, can, I, can I come over? Can I get before and afters? Yeah, well, we have the befores, and we can we can get afters. Well, I don't have the befores. You said you put them on a CD. I got them, and they were blank. Oh, well, I have the befores Whatever. at the house. I have them. Well, can you make me a copy of the favorite ones that I wanted that you gave me? I'll burn. Because obviously, I'll burn. Rip and burn. I'll burn the whole thing. Okay. If I come over? Yes. Okay, so I am invited over. We'll talk about this later. No, no, no. Let's talk about it now. <laughs> the best time to get you is when you're not expecting it. When you think about it too much, then you just go haywire. Have you done any more fantasy dates? Have I done any more fantasy dates? That's a yes. Mm-hmm. Anytime, huh? anytime somebody repeats a question, that just gives them time to think <laughs> of an answer. <laughs> Hold on a second. O'Malley, what does Rob want? And is it really Rob? Are you sure? Who's Rob? Rob, uh, the promotions guy. I don't think he ever met him. Hold on a second. What is it, Rob? Hey, um, we're out here at Jay Gilligan's, and I was just wondering if we could do a contest um, for one lucky listener to have the first chance to have sex with you with a new penis. <laughs> what, we a girl? A, we have a trailer and everything. A girl having sex with him? Oh, I didn't know you were still on the phone. Shut up. <laughs> you better broke my babe out. Hello. <laughs> Look, Dan. You well, sidekicks have just come out of the woodwork. Yeah, they're everywhere. She's not going to see it anyways because it's going to be wrapped. No, it's, uh, it'll be unwrapped by then. They told me to leave it alone for 10 days. Of course, yeah. I haven't. No, I haven't. no, no, no. You need to wear a condom if you're going to have sex. I do. The, oh, okay. I thought you meant in golf. Yeah, so All she's right. not going to quite get a really good, you know, feel for it. Mm. They're gonna raffle you off for free. Yeah, I can't get uh, money for sex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have money for sex, honey. <laughs> That's illegal. I understand that. Yes. All right. It's highly illegal. So it's, you... Ill- it's legal in, in Amsterdam. Right. Have you done any more fantasy dates? I did do a fantasy date in L.A. Okay. Yeah, I did one. How much was that? Um, <laughs> I can't discuss the money. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm not going to tell everybody that it's it's thinking. on it's on websites all over the country. It says it's like fifteen hundred dollars for an hour, two hours is three grand, and then after that you got to call for a prize. Oh, <laughs> it's like buying so electronics. Not, I'm not really. I'm with Exotica, but I'm not too much with them. I kind of dropped them a little bit. Oh, you're on your own now. No, 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 no. I'm going with another place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody the competition. Not... Okay. Yeah. The place that has the money already on, you know which one. Obviously, you've been shopping around. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, sweetie. What is it, T? Hey, Russ. What? What kind of hypocrite are you, man? One minute you say you never want to talk to her because she's a prostitute. <laughs> Next minute you, you're trying to get over on the slick side of the bank. 
If ever I was going to drop the N-word on somebody. <laughs> We're not even talking about that. We're talking about sex. What the hell does he want? I don't know. T, why you got to pee in my punch bowl? Why well, I got to pee in your punch bowl? I'm just saying, you're a hypocrite. You don't want to be no hypocrite to your listeners, do you? That's my life. <laughs> <laughs> I lie to you people all the time, especially you. Oh, what you me? mean, you people? No. What, what you mean by you people? By you. By me, who? You. You know uh, what I'm talking about. Oh, you talking about the N? You been talking to the, the N word? You been to the fair yet? Yeah, I went to the fair. Yeah. Why is it fair that that uh, black people can call each other the N word, but when a white person says it, it's that's a humongous controversy. Could you mean? It's not me? that controversial to me. I I really don't care because I well, don't know who I am. Yeah. I don't I don't really say the word, but my question is is oh, I we we understand. From, I know from many people that I've, you know, it's it. out of respect, yes, right. and it really isn't a respect word at all. Yeah. It was never even used as a respect word back in the in, in the thirties. Hey, Russ. Yeah, hold on a second, T. Hold on a second. I gotta go, sweetie. Oh no! Keep me on. This is getting good. <laughs> What's getting good? We're done. This is getting good. Take we... some more calls. I don't know what's going on. No, we got to take a break. I got to go. Why? Because I got to. I got to take a break. We got to go. No, I, I'll stay in the line where you take a break, and I'll help you co-host the show. You need me. Don't you need to take a nap or something? You sound pretty no. tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, you need me. <laughs> I know you need me. Well, I'm coming really soon, and you only got one month. One month, and damn, I'm in your face. And you know See, what uh, she's adorable. She's cute. She's gonna, got a great body. Yeah. She just drives me nuts. I know. And I'm going to be on a billboard. You're going to have to look at my ugly mug every single day. Well, I haven't seen any billboards yet. Well, they're putting me on their billboard. Hmm. So you're in trouble now. And I'm doing um, Excitement Magazine. I don't know what that is. Hey, listen. Why aren't you I in Beaver Hunt? Why don't you get the good magazines? <laughs> hey, listen. When I come down, right, can we think of something fun to do on the air? Because I thought of the shaving deal, but you really weren't into that. I was, already, really... I was already cleaned up. Honey, you know what the thing is? Is I'm done with the paint thing. You've done the paint thing with every porn star. I want something different. We've done the Waskily Wax. We've done the paint. Maybe we should take Well, here's an idea. Then. Why don't you just come into the studio and I'll just How about that? Yeah, right. Like you would do that. You're so <laughs> You're yellow. <laughs> well, that didn't You would to, never do that. Plus you really no, I would do it, but you won't do it. I'll do it. I'll shut yeah, the you, mics off while we do it. I don't care if any... No, you keep the mics on. Your listeners no. want to know what's going on. They know what's going on. If the mics are off, I'm No, you keep the mics on so that way they know what you're saying. Now they're going to know what you're saying. Oh, 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 my nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that on the air. No, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, okay, we'll have a little F, a little F S. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. the mic's got to stay on. Right. That'll be fine. Well, what do you. So the what? I didn't load that. Eddie loaded it. <laughs> I just feel I wasn't even paying attention. I was just thinking about what they all this other crap that's going on. Is that muskrat love? Yes, it is. Yeah, Captain Anthony. Is she still on hold? Wow. Hello? I want to see if you want to talk about me. <laughs> you didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm playing with my computer on my screen. Like, I'm staying online. I have nothing. I mean, I'll stay on. The, I'll stay on. I have nothing else to do. Well, you can listen to us. Um, do you have a sound card on your computer? Um. Yes, I do. Never like, mind. I forgot. We're not web. Now? We're not webcasting no, anymore. No, no. Never mind. I forgot. Are you liar? Are you wait till I get there? Oh my god! I'll find out. All right. So okay. We talked. We, we, we talked about. Thing? We talked. At, oh. We're gonna do the listener things. We're gonna have the listeners call in and say whether no, you should, you should no, not. No, the listeners. 
have no bearing, and I couldn't even care. Why not? I, They're the ones who listen to you. I don't care. They are the ones who matter the most. I know. No. They're listening to you. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's because. Don't you think so? Vince, I'm sorry. This is about me. Oh. I, I decided during me. I decided. I decided during the break uh-huh. that you can stay when you come out. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay. But that means I'm going to have to get a rent a car because I can't have you drive me in and out of work. And stuff. Absolutely. And uh, when you're in town, yeah. no fantasy dates. <laughs> Why, are you supposed to be my fantasy date? I'm just telling you, no fantasy dates. Just okay. those four days. Well, I can't have a fantasy date because I'll be at your house unless I would invite them over there. <laughs> no fantasy dates. No fantasy dates. All right. Well, we have to figure out if we're going to do this thing at the radio station because that sounds a lot of like a lot of fun. Do what thing? Do that thing. Oh, that. Get busy. Yeah. Besides, I want to see him. I, I'm the one who I'm the one who pointed it out. I'm the one who has to inspect the work. You'll see it soon enough. Well, I'll I, send, I'm I'll, just making sure that you're going to show me. I'll send you a picture, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's lovely, believe me. Send her the one you sent me. <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, little guy. Yes, he did. <clears throat> a current one, may I add. I told him, I sent, an, I sent an email to J.D., and I went, here's an updated picture of the band. <laughs> band will be a little peek. That's true. See, I don't have that picture. That's the picture. You're the that only I person open attachments from that I trust. Now I don't even trust you. <laughs> and I open and it up and it's a of shot of it. Remember you were hiding it with the hat? And I go, I scream from the other room. Joey goes, What? I go, You won't believe what he just sent me. It's a close up of the current view of that. I want to see it. No! <laughs> Joy wanted to see my crank? Yes. Uh, really? Who said that to you? They did? No. Uh, the guys? No. Yeah. Hold no. on a second, sweet. Yeah. She wanted to see it? I just said because I screamed. She goes, let me see it. I'm like, she goes, I just want to see it because it's gross. No, you're, you're not it's looking at It's not gross. His, it it's healing gross. very nicely. It is gross. It is not. It is nasty. First of all, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's damaged. <laughs> it's not damaged. It and it's not crusty. It I just thought you'd like to God, see it. God, you suck. In case you'd like to have Dr. Fetner do the same thing on you. No, I'm fine. Mine's good. I got the good one. Remember? Grew up in North Dallas with the good doctors. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. That's probably what happened to me. Yeah. Because I thought, where was I? Uh, St. Paul. And then they tore it down and built another one someplace else. Yeah. They probably tore it down because they knew the lawsuits were coming from the bad <laughs> circumcisions. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't like the picture? No, thank you very much. And she, and so I was, I was pissed at her. At Joy? Yes. She wanted to see She it. was an assistant. She goes, I've deleted it. She goes, it's in the trash file. I don't care. Why would you want to let her look at it? Because it's you. So? She doesn't need to be seeing you any more than you need to be seeing Laura or anybody else. I need to see Laura. No, you don't. I don't want to talk about another chick. I'm leaving. Where are you going? That's Stan's <laughs> wife. Oh, okay. Damn, Laura's Stan's <laughs> wife. All right, Didn't so I we... meet her? Yes, you did. Yes, you have. Okay. Would you like to do something with her? I can't wait to see you. I'm so excited. Send the picture. Even though you screwed me royally. How did that screw you? Because I bought that ticket to come down to see you on the 4th of July. You still were able to use that ticket. Would you like that receipt? Oh, you just let the ticket go bad? Uh, no, it's unreserved, but still, I bought it. Thank you. You travel all the time. You've used that ticket. Ah, uh, shut up. You, it's still the, the matter. So I ended up partying with, uh, you know that band Godsmack? Yeah. Was that another well, fantasy date? No, it was not a fantasy date. Me, Maybe I can dad, hook you up with the stars when you're here. My dad, right, invited uh, me to this big tattoo party where he gets his tattoos done up in New Hampshire. Uh-huh. And I was sitting by a big bonfire, and we were all drinking and having fun and stuff. Well, this guy that was sitting, well, he's actually kind of small. Uh-huh. He's like my height. And he's you mean a little small? Oh, okay. His name's Sully. He's the, the lead singer. Yeah. Well, what happened was, with that? Well, no, nothing. Actually, we didn't know who he was, and he right. didn't know who I was. Mm-hmm. And then so nothing said, happened. Did anything happen? No. Like two hours later, he how come nothing happened? The band. He didn't, because, nothing happened. No. Was he out of cash? Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. It was one of those things where I, we didn't know who Jameson. each other was. Two hours go by. He's like, oh, by the way, I'm in a band. I'm like, oh, by the way, I'm a porn star. 
And I'm like, well, what band are you in? He's in Godsmack. And I'm, I really didn't know who that was. Uh. So we started singing this song. And I was like, oh, my God, I know what that song is. So we started rapping about being on the road and stuff. She can't stay and with me. Just kind of like you let her stay. Listen to the door. Talk. She can stay. You didn't do anything. You went, you're the Listen to her talk. I know. That area she, that's as well. how she always so, talked. You know, that's what I ended up doing on the time that I was supposed to be with you. Where you were with that other chick. I was with nobody. He was with nobody, oh, really. Oh, you have to blow you off. No. Like, I'm going to feel bad for you. <laughs> I really have to go. All right. Um, that's okay, because I'm busy, too. What are you doing? I'm on the computer. Actually, I'm on Kid Rock's website. and he just Why? Because <laughs> yours is getting boring. Why is that? There are new pictures of the Batmobile on there. Oh, ooh. Not every guy wants to see that. Guys want to see chicks. I have the best pictures of us partying. You put up the most boringest pictures, and I'm the one who took them all with awesome pictures. I'm not putting the pictures of us up on the Internet of us having sex. Well, why can't you put the pictures of us with all the other chicks naked and stuff? Why can't you just put stars over their boobs and stuff? That's what the guys really want to see. Those are on the those are on the website. They're daily. You picked out, like... Stupid pitches that just shows them that we're having a good time. Well, I'm sorry. Like I'm sorry. It's not. Pitches. I'm not. It's not up to your standards. I gotta go. <laughs> Listen, there's a little bit of pervert in you too. Okay. There's. Don't act all innocent with me, Mister. What? What? First of all, there was nothing that we did weird in bed. Nothing. No. Nothing. No. Not even the bat stuff. <laughs> God, why do you got to be such a hot egg to crack? Just be honest with the listeners, babe. That's what they want to hear. Who cares? Who cares what other people think? <laughs> right? There's water in the trunk line. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> you better take lots of vitamins before I get there. Okay, I will. And eat lots of lots of creatine. I, I will. Up. I will. Okay. All right, I have to go. All right, bye, happy. Bye, guys. Bye. She's going to come into town. Mm -hmm. She's going to stay with me, and she's going to want to talk to me. Yes. I don't want her to talk to well, me. Well, take her out places, and she'll have to leave her. No. <laughs> and, and that way there's things to do, and you don't have to be in the house and just listen to it. You take her out places. In the, or you take the Batmobile. Well, you can't take the Batmobile. It's, it's, yeah, I can. I valet it. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, well. How are we doing, Eddie? You're not jealous when she brings up anybody else. That that shows you got emotions for her. You wouldn't be jealous. I'm God just trying. To, what happened with them? I'm just trying to decide if I wanted to stay with me for those four days. She's just on Kid Rock's website, and you're jealous. Well, why is she on his website? What, what's the difference? It's a website. Well, how come you wouldn't let Joy look at my crank? Because that's your crank. There's a difference. His crank's not on the website. Well, you don't know that. Well, it's probably not. And it's not somebody that she works with. She work, I work with you. You're insecure. I'm not insecure. <laughs> Why wouldn't you let Joy look at my crank? I let her walk naked down the beach in, in Jamaica. Well, how come you won't let her look at because my crank? Because it's you. So? I did, all you saw was just the crank. I know. A nice, lovely close-up, I might add. Thank you. Yes, it was lovely. Very nice. That was disgusting. Now that I have it, maybe I'll post it. I don't care. You can't prove it's mine. Other than the, the cuts and the welts and the pus and the blood and the... <laughs> Ugh. It's not that bad. But... Tell Dan whose face I put on it. <laughs> <laughs> you put a face on it? I didn't uh -huh. think you wanted to say that. <laughs> well, now I know why you didn't send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> You want to see it? <laughs> no, not especially. It's one of your better shots. <laughs> I even put tongue glasses on it. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird doing Adobe Photoshop with your own crank. Yeah. What's the matter with Rob? I don't know. He's out dancing in the hall. What's the matter with you? You get some bad roids?
Oh, did you put something else gay in his computer? Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see what they're Oh, Bob's, Bob's just bitching about corporate. Oh. Because <clears throat> he stopped me in the hall and told me the same thing. All right, break, yes or no? Please. All right, we'll be back. Jay Ryan is here, Dan Lewis, Eddie Boyd, Jonathan's in the thing, O'Malley's on the phones. What are you holding up? This thing I need to talk about. Go ahead. Ticket drop today. Uh, the White Trash Party tickets. Hold like. on, O'Malley's wave them. To, line two? Okay. I will tell them to hold on. Go ahead. Uh, Red Zoo's 183 at Central Drive in Bedford from now until 6 o'clock. Come on, get your White Trash Party tickets. Tons of specials going on. Also, while you're there, register to be a White Trash VIP. Once again, T. Razoo's. What? A VI, I'm sorry, Sis P. My bad. VIT. Uh, Razoo's 183 in Central in Bedford until 6. I think Rob's got the VIT. Well, I'll have to ask him in a minute because he hasn't confirmed everything. But I think they're going to have Loverboy in the VIT area. Oh. Or at least accessible. We've done a few of these, but I'm really excited about this one. Yeah. It's well, it's best. not just a bunch of no-name bands. <clears throat> yeah. You know, just background music stuff going on. It's, it's it's worth, you know, it's worth $15, $20. Easy. Without the band. And with Loverboy, it's still only 5 bucks. That's the stupidest thing we've ever done. Mm -hmm. Yes, Randy? Yo. Yes. <laughs> I was going to go by uh, Big C's apartment. Need if you need, uh, you want to talk to her? Who's Big C? Yeah, well, I can't say her name on the air, can I? Is it somebody I'm supposed to know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the garage door flowers. Oh, Mothra. Yeah, Mothra. You going by her house? I, I'm, I'm right in front of her right now. Are you dating her? Oh, no, no. No, sir. No, sir. What happened? Hang on. Let me, t <clears throat> let me take you off the air. Get me off the air. Hold on. I'm going to pick up the phone. What's her first name? What's her last name? That's it. <laughs> so, how yes. do you how do you know Mothra? Um, take me back off the air. I'll tell you real quick. Oh Jesus! <laughs> I'm not giving this guy any grief because I got too many questions. All right, how do you know? Oh, you do. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> Damn it! I got the phone cable for my. <laughs> it's easy. Oh, you're gonna break. <clears throat> so. Yeah. <laughs> how is Mothra? I, I I haven't seen her in a few weeks. I'm gonna go up there and find out, though. I just uh, I, I had I just wanted to make sure you didn't patch it up to make sure I didn't ask the wrong questions. No. There's no future there. I. I don't think so. In fact, I think, according to Everett, all the cash came in this this past week, so we got the twenty five hundred dollars. Did it really? Yeah. So, have you not talked to her since she ran into my garage door? I I, I knew that. I knew that. What, was it Saturday night? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, I I knew that. Like Sunday at eight o'clock the next morning, that's when the phones were ringing into my interested party. And what was the story that they told your interested party? Pretty much the same story, I believe. Yeah. And, and when she was telling your interest, we'll just say your friend, when they were, right. she was telling your friend, was she laughing about it when she told them to? Oh no, no, it was a serious event. Really? Yeah. No, there was there was no laughing. Because when she told Everett about pulling up the flowers and banging on the front door and putting a dance and then driving in the back of the, the garage, she thought it was funny. No, nah, she felt bad. Mm. She felt bad when she was when she was telling the story. It was a. Uh, Does she have I a mean, reason it, for it? Did, yeah. Was she just drunk? Uh, yeah, I, that's what I think. That's I don't know. Say. 
Well, I mean, I just from from past here, you know, from from what I know, what I've been around, yeah. Has, has she ever wigged out around you before? You know any other past wig out stories? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me get a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't start yet. Are you ready? Wait. Put my feet up. <sighs> Go ahead. <laughs> what What's one of the wig out stories? Give me the most recent. Uh, I, you know, I can. I'm probably going to get myself in trouble. But no, you're not. She don't know who you are. Oh, okay, right. Uh, well, she will now. But on the on the fourth of July, I had a little get together, and and she, and she, you know, she was invited a friend of mine. So it, uh, I, it's a bad story. I can't tell it all, but I mean, I, Russ, I'm a terrible story story uh, storyteller. What so. did she? All right, July fourth, where she was with a guy there, right? Yeah. Okay. What did he do to piss her off? Absolutely nothing. I think it's just a drinking thing. I just, I, I just go to that point. It's almost like that date. What, who was that? Was it Daryl Hannah? You know where she would get drunk and just go. Or oh, no, Kim Basinger. Blind date. Blind date. Yeah. It, it, so she I, does I, this every time she gets drunk. I, yes. Yeah, and I mean, and there, and there, there is property damage every time. Yes. Now, did you know she was going to go out with me before she did? Yes. And you couldn't have called and warned a buddy why. You know, I, I, I called, couldn't get through, so I did the next best thing. I called all the guys that knew her, <laughs> and I right. said, listen to the radio, I said, you know, and buy from the sponsors because he's going to have he's gonna have some cleanup to do. He's going to need a few extra dollars. You couldn't have emailed or something? Dude, I've got broken doorknobs I could send to you from. So you're not dating her, and she's come and done stuff to your house. Right. Hey, has she ever assaulted anybody? Because I was worried about uh, crawling in bed that night. I no, think. no, I, I think you're safe there. I don't think. I don't think. I've never heard any assault. Anything mm. assault. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ride in her in her vehicle with her or anything. No, and because both Eddie and uh, and uh, Everett pull, ran background checks on her, and there was no history of uh, there was no criminal. Right. Uh, so she's just one of those chicks. She gets alcohol in her, and she she wigs out. Yeah, there's just there's it's there's just a little switch that shuts off. How many different times are you are you aware that she pulled? A nut bag situation like this. Right, three. Within the last year, three. Does that count me? A four. Four. Wow, damn. And each time. You're, you're so, you settled up with her, though, I mean, right? I mean, as far as. Yeah, I got. Fine. Yeah, she, uh, she had to pay for the replacement of the doors and everything else, so I got $2,500 out of her little 10 minute fit. How does she keep yeah. from getting uh, charges brought up against her? Uh, I did. I just fixed my own stuff, dude. I know, but why wouldn't you go to her and go, look, you're going to pay for this or I'm calling the police? I, yeah, I don't know. I just fixed it and went on. And why, why did she come come after you? Because you're not dating her. I no, no, no. It, no, it's not. No, it doesn't. It's not. It's, don't take it as a personal thing. It's just, you know, it's just, it just happens. So she can wig out on anybody whether she's dating them or not? Right. I mean, I, I replace like a bathroom door, a doorknob. Um, you know, it's. It just, you know, things just just went apart. So I, I don't know. Are you about to go in there right now? Yeah, I'm just sitting here looking at the window. I'm just wondering if she's going to start looking out. Why don't you do this for she me? She doesn't listen to you, does she? No. Okay. No. Uh, why don't you do this? Go okay. in. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think how you could do this without getting burnt. Yeah, she's looking out the window, dude. Is she? Well, she doesn't know who you're talking to. Why don't you go in, tell her um, you heard me talking about her, and then I would actually like to go out again and just see what she says and then call me back. Ask her. Tell her you were listening to the radio, so it doesn't sound like you called me. You were listening to the radio. You heard me talking about her, how much, you know, maybe I overreacted. Oh, this is good. <laughs> maybe I overreacted. I was thinking about giving her her $2,500 back if she'd think about going out with me again and then see what she says. Okay. And then call me back. Give me five minutes. Okay, good. All right, bye. Of course, <laughs> God. <laughs> you got to tell me how well, we get off. Tell me how this guy knows her, but that's okay. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Okay. Uh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Unless he was just now listening, and then that won't be happening anymore. <laughs> that's some freaky crap. Yeah. There's just people that alcohol absolutely just doesn't work in their systems. And it's not even alcoholism. It's just go too far. 
And so well, said, the first night she was over at the house, she had too much to drink. We fell asleep on the couch. You know, there was a little finger action going on back and forth. But you're right, there was nothing to piss her off. There yeah. was nothing, you know, there was no catalyst. Yeah. All it takes is there's, guys are more like that. Guys that fight, they'll have two or three beers and they're just ready to smack somebody for whatever. You I see think that's it. why Eddie quit drinking. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Mm. I drank in Jamaica this time and I shouldn't have. I got to the point where... My wife told me to go back to the room because I was thinking about burning the whole place down. <laughs> okay. Jesus, <Eddie. laughs> All right. Jesus. The water's too loud. I know. I'm burning it. Is that why you were so angry on the plane coming back? Uh, no, that was like, I I did that Saturday. Okay. The Saturday was the only day that I drank, and I thought I could hold more than I, I did. And I, they were giving me mixed drinks. Right. I had no idea what they were because I'm not a big mixed drink person. Got it. And a couple of them were a little stronger than they should have been. And hmm. we were wandering around, and I started picking up matches and <laughs> looking around. <laughs> so anyway, it's more common in guys, and you just don't see it that often in chicks that, that we've all seen. I can't believe that he didn't at least email me and go, dude, she's got a history of getting drunk and wigging out. Buddy would have done that for another buddy. And he calls his friends, listen, Monday, for yeah. a damage report. <laughs> yeah. God. She is cute. Don't you even. I'm horny. You got L.A. coming. Yeah, but that's not till December. You don't. But you still need a few more days to yeah. rest. She'll rip that off. No, she won't. I need a mayonnaise dumpster it's for a couple of days. <laughs> You don't need any part of that. Well, if I just don't let her drink. How are you going to keep her from drinking? I'm horny. I don't Okay. There's a town of six million people, whatever. There's a lot of stories in this naked city. <laughs> All right. Do we do news? Not yet. Not yet. All right. <clears throat> we take this call, then we'll do news. Yes, Christina? Hi, Russ. Hi, Christina. How are you? I'm fine. How is your PP? It's fine, too. Ask JD. <laughs> send me your email address. I'll send you the picture. I thought you deleted it. I, it's. Uh-huh. You kept it. You looked at it. I threw it in private. You looked at it, didn't you? I threw it in the private folder. Hey, no, oh, you got a folder for my weenie? No, I have a bag. For, no, I have a <laughs> bag. You know, you have your drafts, trash can, book, and then you have a private folder. So you put it in there? Yeah. Why? Just in case I need to pull it out and put it on the website somewhere. You're going to put a picture of a penis on the website with Dan's face. How's that going to come back on me? Because it's yours. <laughs> All right. Is my name on it? No. In fact, since it looks like Dan, it's more apt to be his. <laughs> but his face. Never mind. His face is on it. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. Anyways. But I put on sunglasses. Somebody would recognize you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's a good shot. And how come you wouldn't let Joy look at it? Because it's you and I work with you. She wanted to see it. Are you insecure? No. You just, that's just, no. No. Okay, I'll show it to her. No, I won't. <laughs> Arguing with myself. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to have her see people I work with. I don't care if we walk in the new beach or go to the news camp or anything else. I don't know those people. How about if I take it slightly out of focus and send another one so it's like a glamour shot? No. It's still you. I'll even glue like a little finger to the chin of it. No. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I'm sorry, Christina. What did you need? I was just going to say that your mom should have used a moil when you were born because, you know, they can circumcise with their eyes closed. A moil. You're very brave. The, the Jewish people, they use a moil. Oh. That's what they do. They clip it. Ah, my mom right. probably got the valet to do it. <laughs> they just slam it in the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how do you screw up a circumcision? It wasn't horrible. It was just, I think they did it, and she just didn't take care of me like she was supposed to. Oh, hang on, Christina. Yes, Randy. <laughs> Randy. Ruff. Yes, what happened? Uh, you, I'm, I'm, you're just not her type. Oh, okay. And there's, I, I, you know, I tried, but... She just didn't feel like there was any way you two could possibly reconcile. Oh, um, that's too bad. Yeah. Because mm, I need I'll some... ask her again. Yeah, go back in and ask her Because I need some new shrubs. I could, uh, yeah. <laughs> You're looking for a tree? I could have, uh, I could put her on the phone, but I don't. I don't, I don't think she's. According to Everett, I'm not supposed to talk to her directly. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably a good idea. All right, buddy. Um, well, all right, you went in, and how did you, did you bring it up just like I told you? 
Yeah, I just I, I just walked in. I said, uh, you know, hey, what's going on? You staying out of trouble? And then uh, she goes, yeah, you know, I'm just I'm staying out of trouble, and you know, spend a lot of time in the other town where she's from. And I said, okay, great. I said, uh, so are you staying out of trouble? And uh, she said, yeah, I'm staying out of trouble. And I says, have you got your trouble taken care of? And she goes, yeah, yep, that's all behind me now. And I said, well, do you think you think maybe you could patch it up? You think maybe you could like spark it up, maybe a little romance, put it behind you, and maybe uh, you know. Get the gang back together, and she says, "No, he's not my type." Mm-hmm. Sorry, did I try? How very sad. Yes. Maybe a little makeup nookie or something. She said, "No." No, you don't want angry sex with her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's because it's probably got teeth in there. Yes. No. So, what was the most damage she's ever done? Has has anybody in the past that she's done damage to? Has anybody filed charges or asked her for asked her to pay for it? No, I. No, I think I, you, you've pretty much, I mean, there's, uh, there's been a couple. I mean, I know there was like a tubing incident or whatever, but I mean, oh, I, I wasn't involved in that, uh, an inner tubing incident. Oh, I don't inter- know. I yeah, there was, shooting. there's a lot of vehicle damage. Some dents and stuff were acquired in that one. Was she uh, running into other people's cars? I mean, I don't know. I just, I just know mine was, mine was all, uh, you know, like a doorknob. I don't know how you break a doorknob, but it got done and the door, a little busted up door. She must absolutely just lose her mind when this happens because, it's like I said before, when she pulled up the flowers, it wasn't just enough to pull them up. She walked them next door to my neighbor's house, which isn't close, to throw them in their yard and then throw them in my front yard and then throw them on the other side of the house. And it picks up the, the security sign as and wailing on the door. That's just a lot to go on. After yeah. a couple of flowers and throwing something or hitting something once, you think you'd stop and go, okay, this hey, is- yeah, I've, I've gone... I'm not now. I should stop. But after she did all that, then that wasn't enough. She decides to drive around into the back of the house, and more time had passed because yeah, she waited. I've got, for you. I've got the, I, the guy, I've got a guy. If I could get him to call in, that can tell you the ultimate story. Yes, he has, please. He has no tire, ties to it right now. I mean, but he he has. He's he actually, I, you know, it was kind of my thing helping him get set up, full deal with her. Yes. And so, and then I felt bad for him, and so my way of getting over that was calling him and telling him, you know, that, you know, she now was going out with you, which now I feel bad that I didn't call you. I don't think you feel bad. I think you like just to sit back and watch. <laughs> I think so, too. You know that, too. But uh, I'll have him call in. When he calls in, I'll have him, uh, I'll have him uh, give, give, us, give, uh, give her name. You'll know who it is. Okay, that'll be perfect. That'd be great. Thanks. All right. Thank you, Randy. All right. Bye. How are we doing, Eddie? Good All right. I think she was going to kill me. <laughs> he says there's no physical. But that's just weird. The whole getting in bed. Why? She's mad at you? She's Cause she was going to kill me. She was going to let me go to sleep and then beat me with my own dogs and then kill them. <laughs> she was going to swing my chihuahuas around like noomchucks and then kill me. And then, <laughs> dog. And then kill each dog with the other one. <laughs> I don't know what she had planned, but that was weird. To be so wigged out that she could barely stand to look at you and then go home and get in bed like nothing happened. Noom chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> swinging them around. Oh, you see her swinging them both back and forth. So that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Christina. What did you want? It's all right. So I had a dream last night about you. I swear to God. It was so real. You quit radio and you opened up a pet store, but the animals that were in your pet store, they were only rats. Yeah, strange. Anyways, I worked for you, and you were a really sweet boss, and, um, anyways, I should tell you about my dream. What? What was the dream? I just told you. Was there any more? No, you opened up a pet store and you quit radio. Mm. You love pets. But they're only rats. Do we have any sex? I don't know. It was your dream, either you know or not. <laughs> um, I don't think so. But I woke up early. Didn't you? Yeah. Were you in a sweat? No. Mm-hmm. What woke you up? Was it the, was it the cold farmer's hands? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> 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 All right, sweetie, I have to go. 
do it? I have to go now. Okay. All right. Bye. Mm-hmm. They are coming out of the woodwork for you. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what? I don't think she got that. I don't make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> Tell David to fix that uh, bumper. Hear the glitch in it? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so I had the guy warn me ahead of time, would I still gone out with yeah. him? Yeah. You were saying he should have warned you, but would you have taken her out? I probably still would have gone out and banged her. Because you know how guys are. Yeah. Like, well, you know what, it's going to be different with me. I just, I'm not that way or it's whatever. Right. Because at that point... Logic has nothing to do with it. No, you, also you know, want some poon anything. <laughs> you also know, don't know, and you talk yourself into this. You don't know this guy's motivation. He, he could have dated her in the past. Exactly. Export from the just doesn't work about with you. Yeah. So you would have. I'd have still done it. I'd still gone through the same crap. It worked out for the best. Like I said, I got, I'm going to get a new front door. I got two new garage doors in the back. Got a new batch of flowers. And I got the poker. Yes. Twice, at least. I banged her twice. One time you didn't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's how pissed off I was at her Saturday. I didn't even want to do a grudge F and then get rid of her. I said, you know, I just go. Oh, if you'd have grudged her and then thrown her out. That would have been a she'd good have torched it. Yeah, she'd have torched it. Yeah. He's just not my type. I can't get into his house. Because <laughs> I didn't get to let the three little pigs build it. What? Should I hit this one more time? Yeah, go ahead. All right, let's see. Today, you want uh, free tickets to the White Trash Party. You can get them until uh, 6 o'clock. If you're in the Mid-Cities area, it's Razoo's, um 183. It's Central Drive in Bedford. Tons of specials going on while you're there. Register for VIT passes. And uh, they're, like I said, they're until 6 o'clock. Swing on by. Do you know if they sent Michelle out there again? I believe they did, yeah. I don't know why she bitches about not being able to get a guy. I don't That's either. all she bitches about. And normally it's ugly chicks that, yeah. that complain. She's hot. I do her. Mm-hmm. Except she works here. Yeah. <laughs> I know you didn't just say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, then maybe it'll work out. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't want to bang anybody else here. There's there's like 15 people I don't talk to already. I know. It's awkward. A little minefield going on. Yeah. That's why I always carry... Do you notice? Every time I'm in the hall, I carry something, so it looks like I'm reading it. So if somebody comes up and they're on my I don't talk to list, I just act like I'm reading. That's good. All the time. I watched the Larry Sanders show for the first time the other... Well, not first time, but first time in a long time. There are a lot of correlations between that show and this one. What? Just his attitude and the people around him and the way the way the show works. And there ain't nobody on this show that sucks up to me like on the Larry Sanders show. He's got Artie. I want an Artie. And Dan ain't no Artie. You don't want an Artie. I want an Artie. You don't really want an Artie. Yes, I do. Want, why would you want somebody who just agrees with you about everything? I want the somebody that, that takes boring. care of everything and I don't have to worry about anything. Anything bad going on, I don't want to know about, especially if I can't fix it. Why make me worry about something I can't control? Okay. I want a buffer. I want something between me and it, <laughs> meaning the rest of the station. And they have personal problems. When I want something, when something's not going right, I want to look at Artie okay. and go, I don't like the way this is going. And then he handles it, no matter how stupid it is. That's what I want. <laughs> right in the pooter. Okay. I'll even put lipstick on it if it helps. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love that show. Maybe In fact, they're running it on um, Bravo. Bravo now. Yeah. Is that where you saw I it? Saw it yeah. That kind of surprised me that they're doing very little editing because they're leaving in everything but the F word. Mm-hmm. I thought Bravo was like, you know, it's not broadcast, but I figured it was, you know, they run commercials. Yeah. So like, you know, TBS or whatever, where everything's edited just like it would be for broadcast television. But they leave everything in but F. And I don't know why they cut that out. I love that show. It's a good show. All right. Ready for news? Yes. <clears throat> Here we go.
we go. 548, J.D. Ryan's on the new 105.3 FM Talk with News. Thank you, Russ. News brought to us by Down Under Pub and Grub. Cowboy watching party again this Sunday every 15th, or at the end of each quarter, rather. You can win 25 bucks and more. Put your name up on board for free, okay? They're going to take on the Panthers. Plus, I'm going to have the uh, Russ Martin White Trash Party tickets featuring the lover boy so we'll have those out there as well as screams haunted house it'll be a party come on see us down under pub and grub it's in frisco just north of 121 on preston radio stations around the nation are preparing to adopt new digital technology that would give the uh, medium its biggest makeover in decades by improving sound quality and supplying news and information on demand digital radios rollout could begin in just a couple of months in major cities across the u.s manufacturers plan to sell digital receivers and car stereos and high-end audio systems next year it'll be about a Hundred bucks extra. I wonder if this is like to just piss off XM and I think so. Serious uh, satellite radios. I haven't heard about this. Yeah, digital. A couple of months we could uh, have it, and I don't know if they're starting here or not. Well, it, it would just put more hurt onto the uh, satellite radios because they're not doing that well. It's not going to work. What satellite radio? What do you think? Nobody's going to pay for satellite? They said the same thing about cable. Nobody's going to pay for television. But the problem is, it goes away when you go under a bridge or a tree. Well, how long do you sit under a tree? Well, a bridge, trees, you want to be listening to the song and have it go, and go away. That's why people quit listening to AM radio. Well, they're, they're already hurting because I read an article a few weeks ago that they didn't sign up anywhere near the initial. It's expensive, too. Well, yeah, you got to buy a receiver and then you got to pay for it every month. Right. Just like cable, which is why you should get Century Satellite and Edition Network. Very nice. Yes, Bob? According to um, engineering sources at our radio station, um, we're going to be the first radio station in the market in Dallas uh, to be all digital. And that will happen within the next um, 90 days. Booze. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get We can't get things fixed in this studio, and we're going to turn into the uh, first digital I, station in the I, market? I'm thinking the same thing when Bob Hanke told me that. You know, I'm like, Bo Hanke, digital. I don't know. And how is that going to affect us? Because nobody it, nobody can tell the difference, right? Yeah, well, what, what IVOC is is in-band on channel. So what you're going to be having is that you'll hear the station as normal, right at 105.3, but there'll also be a digital kind of sideband that'll, that'll pick it up in digital. Kind of uh, like a HDTV, Channel 8, uh, to pick it on their receivers. It's just a little above, actually, Channel 8. Exactly the same thing, yeah. All right. So if people have a digital receiver, what? There's, it's, there's... It automatically locks in on the digital signal. If they have an analog receiver, then it automatically locks in on the analog signal. Is quality going to be any better, or is it just going to be constant? Oh, the quality will be enormously better. Notice will be better. So we're going to be the first better. quality, high quality station, and we're taught we don't play music. Correct. Well, that's certainly a, uh, that's a worthwhile expenditure. Yeah. Well, it will also be on the new panel antenna, which I understand will throw a signal practically to Oklahoma. So. Oh. Yeah, because they get ratings things. That's important. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you something I forgot. Oh, is is everything? First of all. Thank you for a lovely dinner last night and all the Jack and Cokes. Jack yeah, they, they were lovely. And they kept pushing them in front of me. Sure. I, I know. I appreciate but that was all the waiters over there. They wanted to see if they could, you know, get you off the off the bat. I mean. And that little hot waitress, I think she was like 21. She walked oh, by. Yeah. She goes, how about she a little. She was hovering over you all night long. Oh, I should have got that. Why didn't you get some of that? I was. Talking with Reed and Bob about the uh, Cindy Coyle that Reed wants to set up. Cindy Coyle, our former promotions director who died of cancer earlier this year. Couldn't have been somebody we hated. It had to be her. Yeah. Um, died of cancer earlier this year. Reed wants to set up a Cindy Coyle scholarship fund at North Texas. Oh. So that's what he wanted to talk about and ways to you know, raise money. It's like, I got no clue. Hmm. Well, I think he has a great idea. I didn't get a chance to talk to him today because he was at a general manager's meeting all afternoon. So I'll, I'll get with him first thing in the morning and and hopefully unveil a, 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 a fundraising idea. Oh, you have an idea? Well, I think Reed has an idea. What is his idea? Well, you know, we talked about it. Babe. Oh, not that one. Yeah. What? Oh, what? Oh, no, I mean, you know, let me, we'll just talk about it tomorrow. We're going to talk about it now. 
because I don't have I don't have it all together, and we don't have the, the any way to announce what we're going to do. So let's let's not. Certainly, we can come up with a better way than this to raise money for the foundation. We got to come up with ten grand, and once you put that ten grand at North Texas, then the foundation set up or the fund, the scholarship, right. I think I'm saying it's called, right. and they get a plaque, and then we're done with it. Right. This, this is the boss's idea. If you come up with a better idea, we'll certainly do it. So if Reed comes, so since it's Reed's idea, we got to do it. Carries a lot of weight. <laughs> Not with me. <laughs> you guys want to know? Sure, I do. All right. One moment, please. <laughs> Reed wants. Good boy. Yeah. Swinging idea, isn't it? Mm-mm. But I'll let Bob unveil that tomorrow. Okay. There's our great big radio tease to build our time spent listening for tomorrow. You certainly don't want to uh, miss the, the big unveiling of this great idea. Skid marks and all. <laughs> <laughs> Should I continue? I didn't. Did we start? Yeah, we did the digital radio story, and then Bob called about it. And so we're a talk station, and we're going to be the first, first to be digital. But I if can't you don't get... have a digital receiver, it'll make no difference to you at all. But imagine, I don't know if you can modify your current radio in your car. It'll probably be like an add-on or something. Yeah, Mac? Yeah, I was just going to ask Bob if that was going to help the signal toward East Texas, like around Tyler, because we could sure use a good radio station like this, because I've been trying to promote people to move to the Rosaya ship, and i uh, I guess if it's going to, you know, yeah, with an FM signal, it's um, it's a circular pattern. So if if we reach further north, we're going to reach further east. OK, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yes sir. All Thank right. You, sir. Thank you, man. Bye. What? That was dinner last night. Fuck you. And you didn't drink. I'm proud of you. No. Let me drop this. Never mind. You want to just drop what? Just this drinking bet. I'll finish this. All right, Dan, did you and Eddie decide how much you want? Since you got yes. J.D. and me are willing to just... Why did they get anything? They didn't do anything. Well, they got in on the bet. If we fold... I hate this bit. <laughs> it's like the fourth year in a row or third year in a row we've done this, and it always ends the same way. Occasionally, it's nice just to... Dry out and stop and see if we can. Well, that's what we're doing. Obviously, we can't. Aren't you dry enough? <laughs> I'm arid. Because <laughs> what did I? I didn't drink. What is today? This is Thursday. The same week? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We only started this on Tuesday or Monday. Monday, I drank. I think. Yes, you did on the air, and we stopped about four thirty on Monday. Oh, okay, exactly. Yes, I didn't drink Tuesday or Wednesday. And that is long. That's that's how long it takes people to dry out. <laughs> it's just been barely Dan, over three days. Get Dale Hansen on the phone. Oh, see how long it takes to dry out. <laughs> <laughs> when you go to <laughs> when you go to the hospital, it's ten days. Yeah, but we weren't full blown alcoholics. Well, I'm not. <laughs> An analyst. Is how much? How much do you guys want? Two hundred dollars each. Each. Well, that's full payoff for you because you put two hundred in. Uh-huh. It would be a, it have to be a hundred dollars for J. Well, I mean, if you're, are you going half? Because JD has got no reason to get well, out no, of it. No, you then. just asked us what our what our payoff. Is. All right, so you want two hundred dollars a piece? Mm-hmm. Screw you! I'll go home and drink and lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna hold us up that way, we're just trying to be stand up guys and going, hey, we can't do it anymore. Just have to go to Lamar now. What are you telling me, Matty? Twenty dollars. <laughs> He's dropped to twenty. What do you want, Dan? I. Uh... Keeping in mind, I'm the guy helping you structure your. Uh, you know what? That ain't worth nothing. Never mind. Oh, just hose me down for two hundred dollars. Forget everything that you've learned from me over the past four or five years to help help you get ready for your own show. Give me the twenty dollars. I'm sorry, how much? No charge. Thank you. (laughs) You're going to go straight to the cabinet. Yes! Damn. Oh, no. The alcoholic dance. (laughs) I can't go. I didn't drink much. 
Hi, sweetie. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, sobriety's overrated. Uh, an analyst is for, <clears throat> can we go with news or you want to? I don't even care. We have to break, Eddie? Yes. F news. All right. <laughs> All right. Check on traffic. Jonathan Dodge at the controls of the new 105.3 FM Talks. White Lightning. Why, thank you, Russell. This report brought to you by Epson Printers and by Screen. At the Dallas Northbound, 35 Central at George Bush Turnpike. There's an actor on the right shoulder. That's causing a look of delays back to wrap a hole. Southbound, Dallas North Tollway just before Forest Lane. There's an accident block in the left lane. That would cause it a heavy delay. Big delay southbound Highway 121 at Holford's Prairie Road. It is closed due to an accident. Overturned cement truck is blocking all lanes. One northbound lane is blocked as well. Heavy delays in both directions. I want to buy, avoid that area if you can. Finally, southbound to 377 and I-20. A minor accident. That will only cause a minor delay. This report brought to you by the Transporter. See the new action movie, The Transporter. Stuck in traffic this weekend. 20th Century Fox delivers a guaranteed rush. And the high-speed action movie, The Transporter, rated PG-13 in theaters. Amara, that's traffic. I'm Jonathan Dodge in the new 105.3 FM. White. Like Thank you, Jonathan. All right, 60 for the low tonight. Then some sunshine coming out tomorrow. Finally, and Saturday, it'll be beautiful. Up near 80 degrees for the uh, Texas Oklahoma weekend. We have uh, 71 degrees currently at the Talk to Rocks, Texas. The new 105.3 FM Talk. I just found out from Rob, our buddy Bruce, over at Amazing Superstore. Yes. The fabulous Wacketeria. Mm. Yes. Decided he didn't want to pay X amount of dollars for Loverboy. He only wanted to pay a smaller amount of money for lover boy okay with me so far yeah okay station's paying for another part of it yes so they're gonna have to take the rest of it out of the door um. the door that goes to operation kindness hmm. so now i'm pissed at king wacketeria mm -hmm. <laughs> when did all this occur I was just talking to Rob in his office. Well, that's when Dan came and got me. He goes, 50 seconds before we're out of the break. Any reason he suddenly changed his mind? I just didn't want to pay that much. Even though he's gotten more he's gotten more than this amount of dollars already just by us talking about him and his place with the, the concrete floors and the drains in the middle. They don't have that, but... Unless you'd like them to. <laughs> then they do. If he pays this amount of money, yes. then yes, they're really nice places with really nice floors. But since he's only paying this much, they're little concrete rooms with sliding glass doors. No. They're not. That's still a lot of money, but you know, not what he said originally. No. Hmm. So all of that comes straight out of the animal shelter. That's okay. If it's more important for people to look at nasty videos. Maybe we can get another sponsor to kick in some money. That's too late. What is today? The the ninth, tenth? Tenth. Tenth. Yeah. It's eight <laughs> days away. It's next Friday. I mean lover boy's still coming. Everything's covered. They're just gonna take, you know whatever's left out of the door. Right. And at five dollars a head, that's gonna eat up a big portion of the money that's going to the shelter. Yes. But that's okay. You know what? Screw them. Animal comes in, needs some medical attention. Yeah, stick them in the freezer until you get the cash. Oh. Wrap them up in a cat. <laughs> what? Here comes Rob. Yeah, he's giving you the face. The talent fee would make up the difference. I'm not getting any talent for this. I'm talking to Reed about that right now. We didn't I'm get talent for the anniversary room. party. I know, but there's... We there's don't get certain... talent for anything. Well, there's certain things you get talent for, and I be one I of haven't them. been to one of them yet. <laughs> You well, said we were going to... I sent him an email earlier. You said we were going to get paid for the anniversary party. I ain't seen squat. Hold on. Let me run a quick check of the room. Anybody seen anything? Nope. Uh-uh. 
I got Eddie in appearance Wednesday. You don't get credit for that. <laughs> you go back and tell Bruce. You go tell Bruce this. Either he comes up with the extra money, or I'm going to pay for all of it by myself, and he's out of the boat altogether. Ooh. Thank you. Rob's mad. Yes, he is. This is talent fee stuff. He throws up every time when he wants something. Who knows? We don't get paid for stuff. Well, for this. Station events. That's okay. I don't want the money. Because I have compassion. If we get that talent, I'll donate it to the dog shelter. Yes, Michael? Hey, Russ. Uh, I want to get into radio and... I'll Come up here and take this <laughs> damn job, then. I'm sick of these people. <laughs> <laughs> Looky here. A three to seven slot just waiting for a host. Where are you? Are you close? I could get there in 20 minutes. That's not soon enough. <laughs> I think Dan wants it first. If he... Yeah, Dan, you want this show? Take sure. this one. Yeah, there's no reason to start overnight. Not now. Or, I, don't <laughs> I don't want it now. You licked it. <laughs> it's moist. My brother used to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Spend five minutes making a sandwich in the kitchen and stop me, walk by and pick it up and go, drop it. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> God, that's cold. And he wouldn't just lick once, you know, one piece of bread so you could replace it. He'd lick all the way around the edges. Mm. I'm sorry. What did you want? Well, well, like I said, I was. Uh, I want to get into radio, and I want to. Know well, don't think you're going to get paid for appearances. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was wondering. And for uh, heaven's sake, don't have some great big party and think you got a sponsor and then he says we're not going to give you the money for it and then you got to take it away from homeless animals are you taking notes because yeah, these are these are all the things that you got to deal with on a daily basis i am taking notes Russ. what else you want to know uh, i think i pretty much covered it all yeah <laughs> that's, so that's i just wanted to know what i need to know or uh or do and so basically have you ever done any broadcasting before at all no no i haven't Broadcast school? Excuse Don't me? tell him to go to a broadcast school. I'm just ask him what he's done. No. He wants to get into radio to start with, right? Yeah, I just want to get into radio. Hmm. First, you'll need to go get a nice satin jacket. Get, <laughs> get your name embroidered on the front. <laughs> All right. And then when you get a radio station to work for, you can put the call letters great big on the back so when you go out in public, everybody knows who your cheesy ass is. All right. What else? You like you like teenagers? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Do you? Uh, no. Hmm. All right, maybe we can get around that. Because <laughs> that seems to be a thing with a lot of disc jockeys in this market. You got to like teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So start li liking teenagers and start uh, embroidering a jacket. Get, get your satin jacket so when you go out in public, people know who you are. Get your first name put right on the jacket. All right. Great big call letters on the back. All right. Anything Learn else? I'm thinking. Trying to think of all the crap that I've been through. What other jackass stuff do you have to do in radio? That's called headphones cans. Yeah, you got to be hip. You, you got to be hip. Headphones or cans. And... When somebody gets fired, you don't just get fired. You get blown out. Mm -hmm. You're on the beach. On the beach, yeah. And when you walk around the station, you have to take your headphones and put them down around your neck and swing the cord. Yeah, you don't just take them off and carry them like a normal person. No. You put them around your neck so everybody in the building knows you're air talent. That's right. That's another one. But you got to learn all these phrases. Headphones are cans. Mm -hmm. Getting fired is blown out. And being out of work is on the beach. You can't just say I'm out of work. Hey, man, do you hear, uh, by, oh, by the way, and you don't use all four call letters. So, like, if somebody, hey, you hear uh, Dixon over at VIL uh, is on the beach? Yeah. You don't say KVIL because you're too hip. You're too busy. You're way too important to say all four letters. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Bob and Tom over at ZPS, That's it. they just got blown out. You, you, the fishy smell? That's because they're on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hold on a second, Michael. Uh, That's another thing. It used to you can 
put people on hold and not even worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yes, Robin. Hey, Russ. Mm-hmm. I was just um, thinking about, well, if we go to the white trash party, what about us just putting in extra over the $5 to help cover for it? That would be up to you, and that's very sweet, and I appreciate the fact that you brought it up because okay. you care about the animals and not the money. I do. I and do. I say God bless you. Well, thank you. Okay. All right, bye. All right. <clears throat> Learn to lie to people and act like you care about them. <laughs> Fake sincerity. Yes. That one you'll have to practice. Yeah. All right. It's taken me many years to achieve this point. The antenna is not the antenna. It's the stick. Yeah. Yeah. How big is your stick? Man, it's a 1,600-foot stick. That's a blower, babe. Yeah. That's a 100,000-watt blowtorch. <laughs> God. That's so true. Because we've known people that have done all those things. I just said radio, it, it's just, it's a magnet for cheese balls because yeah. it's, it's for people with no talent. And this is the closest, this is as close to show business as you can get and have no talent. Look at this station. <laughs> yeah. For people with no talent, mm-hmm. people with no talent are, are, are icebox magnets and we're a 16 tall <laughs> foot tall refrigerator. <laughs> I've used that analogy before, but you get the idea. (laughs) Hold on. Hold on, Michael. All right. Yes, Larry? Russ, Mm -hmm. we're forgetting the most important thing in preparation for radio. What? Your megaphone so you can yell at three people. (laughs) So everyone can hear you. Yeah, Even the listeners getting in on it. Busting me. (laughs) Once again, I'm Dan Lewis. Welcome to my appearance. I'm not going to explain, explain that anymore. You don't have to. Everybody knows. Nobody shows up to your parents. That wasn't it. Yes, it was. That was... What was it? Explain it to me. It was for the purpose of pleasing the client who's in a golf cart half a mile away on the on the parking lot. That's the only reason I used the, the megaphone. That was it. Once again, I'm Dan Lewis, <laughs> producer of the Russ Martin Show. I'd like to welcome the crickets out today. <laughs> Don't rush me for prizes. We have plenty for everyone. We'll be doing trivia. <laughs> Can everyone hear me okay? Yes. Actually, the appearance was Dan, for whatever reason, started about a half an hour early, so people weren't there yet. That's a part of the story I n- normally leave out. <laughs> now, you've mentioned that before, but it doesn't matter. Well, the, the appearance started at 10 o'clock. You got there. You were ready to go by 9.30, so you just started early. And there's like four or five people standing there. He's on the PA. I mean, what the hell is he doing? It doesn't start for another half hour. The guy... There are four people can hear him. They're standing three feet from you. Because the guy who... You're making eye contact. <laughs> the guy who managed the, the dealership... But the appearance didn't was, start for another I 30 know, minutes. But, uh, just, uh, just, I was schmoozing the client. All right. But he was a, about 150 or 200 yards away in a golf cart, sitting there... I got it. Just staring the at The place me. closed down anyway. Yeah, I know. They all have. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael. What was your question? <laughs> Oh, you're you're answering it right now. Uh, let's see what else. You got to learn to take a squat in about three and a half minutes. Mm-hmm. I had that happen one time at the Eagle. I mean, I had to go. I had to go bad. I didn't even think I was going to make it to the next song. Ended. I hit the next song. Talked over the beginning of it. Run down the hall. Men's room. Both toilets are clogged, and I mean bad. And I almost just went on top of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it was like eleven o'clock at night. So then I just went flying into the ladies' room. Was able to get in there, drop them off at the lake, unload, and get back into the studio. Still got like a half a minute left. Yeah, so, you got to learn to force dump. Hmm? All right. Hold on a second. What is that? Uh, this is a list that Bob gave that to me. It's a life and radio list. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just looking it over. It's all pretty much true. Is it? Yeah. Was it something off the Internet? Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
You might be a DJ if 80% of your wardrobe has station logo on it. You look at your paycheck and say, that's it. I'm getting a real job. That's a good one. You can smoke a cigarette in three minutes or less. You answer your uh, phone at home with the call letters. I've done that. I've yeah. done it too. Mm -hmm. Of course, with my mom, she'll call up and I'll... <laughs> with caller ID, you could do it now. You look at it, you know it's your mom, you pick it up, you go, you call her number four, try again. <laughs> Hang up on her. Oh, oh darn. <laughs> Damn. I'm never going to be caller number nine. <laughs> She calls back. You're calling number 10. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe on Thanksgiving. I hate these guys. <laughs> it's so hard. Uh, you answer your phone. There's a call letter. A salesperson has... Oh, Jesus. A salesperson has ever taken credit for your paycheck. Oh, God. If it weren't for us, you wouldn't get any money. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be able to go out and sell anything. That's the way it works. Schnott. Get used to the the salespeople making four to five times what you mm -hmm. do. What? No, not here, not you, but oh, yeah, no, other places. Is. We've all worked at places where salespeople drive the oh. nicest cars. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. You measure the, your amount of production in s loads. Production is if you have to cut commercials. Ah, uh, yeah. Says, uh, iron a t shirt that's dressing up. Um, Listening to music at home, you only listen to the first 30 seconds of the song, then you listen to something else. If you go to a club and you don't get paid, seems like a waste of time. <laughs> um, you turn up the radio at the sound of dead air on a competitor station to see how long it's going to last. I time them. Yeah. <laughs> so far, I think I've got the record in the market. I fell asleep and it was 22 minutes. That was very good. I was tired. Yes. You were working two jobs. I yeah. laid, laid down on the floor 22 minutes later. That was when you were doing the television show and working at the right. station. Yeah, and see when Did you totally panic when you woke up, or did you just Yeah, well, I woke up and I thought it was a dream, because yeah. people in radio have these dreams all the time, where you, you, you can't find the next CD and the, the, the song ran out, and I just got up off the floor and went, well, thank God this is a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I looked at the digitimer in the studio. And the song was 4 minutes, 48 seconds. Right. And the digitimer said, like, 28 and a half seconds, which means there had been 22 minutes of dead air. Oh, the math doesn't work, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I fell asleep at KVIL one time. And I, I waited my whole life to work there. And I was working overnight. No one Chapman gets up at, like, 3.30 in the morning. Fell asleep. I swear to God, there was only, like, 20 or 30 seconds of dead air. But I, I shook until he got there in the morning and didn't say anything. Uh -huh. I just thought, he's going to walk in and rip my head off because he was notorious for that. Was he an ass to work for? Or a perfectionist? Uh, he's very much a perfectionist and very much a drama. Oh, he works for this company. Never mind. A wonderful guy. Pussy? No, he's a great guy. I love Rod. He's just a perfectionist, and he's very dramatic. That's not the way you tell the story in the past. That is the way I told the story. <laughs> you said he was an egotistical I oh, never said that's that. That's what, Dan? I that's what I heard. That's almost verbatim. I and you realize that Chapman's like the program director for this entire market. I love him. He was. You, we all Pussy. grew up listening to him. Hmm. <laughs> Hold on, Mike. <laughs> yes, Robert? Hey, Russ, did you used to have a show, uh, like, on Saturday or Sunday nights late with the Eagle where you talk to, uh, like, Elaine Kettridge, an author or something, and uh, Dewana yeah. Bird? Is that how you uh, ran into her? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was, I was just tripping or if that was another DJ or who. Yes, that was me. All right. Well, great. All right. Thank you. Love the show. Thank you. <laughs> What else is on here? How are we doing on spots, Eddie? Getting close. All right. Uh, truly, you have three uh, queuing. That's stupid. Uh, yeah, pictures of people, uh, pictures of you with famous people you haven't seen since. Uh, you know the words to every song you could think of. Uh, uh, you were half an hour late to an appearance, and you blamed it on the directions that you got from the salesperson. Mm -hmm. Always. Yeah, that one happens all the time. You've had five number eight callers in a row. <laughs> yes. Does that make sense to anybody? It does to us. <laughs> You're waiting for somebody. You're waiting for the right sound of a, a voice. You want somebody that's excited and demographically correct. Yeah. Have you ever done it where you where you've done it enough where the same person got through twice? Yeah. I was hey, I just called. I just called number eight a couple of seconds ago. Did I say eight? I'm in eighteen. <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> yeah, you're going through the phone lines, and since we don't do contests here, I don't give a rat's ass. Yeah. I'll tell you anything. 
you going through the phone lines and you want somebody that's excited that you can tape them and then play it back on the air. I'm sure Wild 100 still does it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking for caller number nine, you answer the phone, you go, hello. And they go, hey, uh, what caller am I? <laughs> oh, you're number eight. Tough break. <laughs> you answer the next one. Uh, what number am I? <laughs> number eight. You just missed. So you're looking for somebody excited and screaming. Yeah. Which is highly illegal. But like I said, I'm sure Wild 100 still does it. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's anything else on here. Billy's probably doing it right now. <laughs> I'm surprised they get away with it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else on here. You get the gist of it. Yeah. Just go find a radio station in the middle of nowhere and jack around out there for a while. All right. Or leave a hit uh, radio show here in Dallas and uh, go on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's a crapshoot. <laughs> uh, did, uh, did I help you at all, Michael? Uh, yes, you did. Thank all you. Right. All right. Bye. Bye. So there, actually, there's some help right there. If you're calling up, you're trying to win a contest, sound damned excited when you get on the phone. Yeah. Otherwise, number eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and every once in a while, they fool you. You go, hello, and they go, hello, what number am I? You're number nine. Oops, I... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then you get them, you start taping it. Yeah. It's like, can you be a little more excited? I've actually told them before. So have I. Yeah. You stop the tape and you go, look, donkey crap. <laughs> Either you get excited or I'm hanging up on your ass. Okay, and I'm number nine. Prove it. <laughs> Who's got the tape? Now, let's try it again. From the beginning. Action. Exactly. You. And if you can't get them, you just give it to somebody you know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, like you've never done that. <laughs> Look at this. What's the statute limitation? What? Yes. We've all done that. Happens every day at Wild 100. No, don't, you don't know that. Yes, it is. You don't know it. Some girl you're dating. I remember that one day they gave away like a, a, a new expedition or something. Night guy's driving it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I looked at him and went, didn't you guys give that away? Yep, ninth color. You know what <laughs> I know how to be excited on here. <laughs> God. Break, Eddie? Please. Okay. We'll be back. Boston. Where'd you find it? Did you say D or Texas Monthly? D. No. D or Monthly. Some of them are really interesting. You just think you know a lot about Dallas because we were all here in the 80s, but some of these are like, huh? Hold on a second. Hold on. What, Eddie? Yes? No? Yes? All right. Uh, I have to call Rob for a second because I want to find out if he got a hold of Bruce about this whole thing. Because it's the last thing I want to have to worry about is getting everything done, and I don't want to have to take any extra money away from the animal show. Yeah, we're almost a week out here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. What's Rob's extension? You remember that? Uh, Five four five. Five four five. Do I got to dial straight? I don't have an intercom here, do I? No, you have to dial straight. All right. Two one four. Mm-hmm. And then 583. 2545. Screw it, you can deal with the calls. <laughs> Hello, Trump. Hi, Rob, we're on the air. Hey. Did you get a hold of uh, Bruce? Yes. And uh, did you explain to him that. Um... I think I got all the help here. <laughs> Please tell me you can take it. 
<laughs> yeah, I taped it because I knew he. I knew he. Go lock the door so he can't come in here. Okay. I knew he was going to cuss. So I taped it. Jesus. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> did he ever. I love the whistling chasers. They even work on Rob. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I think I can edit this pretty quick. <clears throat> if you don't mind, enjoy this, and I'll edit it uh, momentarily. the real gun. Point it out the window. <laughs> all right. Let me play this. I may have to hit the delay again because I don't think I got them all out. I love this thing. <laughs> all right. I got to fast forward. Hey. Did you get a hold of uh, Bruce? Yes. And uh, did you explain to him that um, uh, that I would buy him out? Oh, what the f There's one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I missed one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll have to do another edit. <laughs> Where did he, which way did he go when you threw it in there? Did you just throw it in at him? I just kind of threw it under his desk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, is that Bruce? All right. <clears throat> Hi, Bruce. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, you're on the air now. You are horrible. Why is that? Rob is the nicest, sweetest, kindest, gentlest guy there is. Uh, then if you want us to stop, we will. <laughs> And you torment him. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, did uh, uh, Rob already talk to you? Yes. Okay, and? Well, I have two ideas. Okay. All right, the first idea is, how about we auction off one of those fantasy dates with L.A.? That's just damn cold. Gross. <laughs> Oh. Of all the of all the kind things and all the extra, uh, you know what you've got your money out of this. Forget the, the the promos that are running for the white. Are there promos running for the white trash party? Yes. I haven't heard. Is that one of them? Yes. Yeah, Does that mention Bruce in it? Uh, no. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, I'm sure if it doesn't, you're bitching about it. No. Hold on. It's the Russ Martin Show White Trash Party with Lover Boy coming October 18th. All right, that should have Amazing Superstore in it, even yeah. though that's that's not a paid promo. I just told them yeah. to make those. All right, so we'll take care of that. Yeah, well, it's it's handled. Whatever you guys need, we'll make it work. We'll sit down or with the business folks, and we'll make it work. I buy I buy schedules anyway. We'll figure it out. So this is not going to come out of the animal shelter's take on this. Uh, well, probably not. Well, they want to take the extra money out of the door, and if we do that, then the Operation Kindness doesn't get that. How money. much money does an animal shelter need, Russ? Who you, Steve Blow now? Oh. You want us to run a background check on you, too? No, please. <laughs> please don't. Can't uh, be any yeah, that, we'll, we'll work that. We'll, <laughs> we'll, get it. we'll get it covered. Okay. We'll get it covered. Once again, Bruce from the Amazing Superstore. Here's the bad has, news, what? though. Yes. Aren't all the lover boy groupies like 45 years old? Who cares? We're bringing chicks from, uh, who's coming? Is it uh, is Vinny's place? Who's sending chicks? Uh, yeah, I believe so, yeah. 
I know somebody sent uh, one of the the, the topless bars is sending uh, chicks out. So okay. we'll be we'll be thoroughly packed. It'll be okay. okay. Done and done. All right. Thank you, All Bruce. Right, bye bye. Bruce from the Amazing Superstore. <clears throat> We have to break. I mean, I can finish editing this thing during a yeah, break. Can. All right. Okay. I'll edit this thing and then we'll be back. More of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. I think I got them all. Somebody float a biscuit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eddie? I think it's the gunpowder. Getting just getting through the wall now. No, that smells like a fart. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, for... <laughs> Hello, Trump. Hi, Rob. Damn. Eddie, just shoot through the wall. Mm-hmm. I'm kidding. <clears throat> Bye. <laughs> Hello, Trump. Hi, Rob. We're on the air. Hey. Did you get a hold of uh, Bruce? Yes. And uh, did you explain to him that um, uh, that I would buy him out? Uh, oh, what the f- <laughs> f- <laughs> <laughs> Why is he beating on the wall? I see. Then what are you playing that? Um. All right. He screams like a little girl. I'll stop then. <laughs> I think he's having a fit in his office. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> da, 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 da. Do you want? Yeah, go ahead, Eddie. Mm-hmm. I may have to hit the delay, but yeah. it's okay. So, anyways, from D Magazine. Yeah. Cute. What, how long to it? I know. Oh, his office is locked. Oh, 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 oh. Is his office locked? How much room between the door and the carpet? Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Get another thing. All right. Oh, this is going to be good. The mic that we're using the mic out in the lobby. Eddie's just going to stick a chaser under the door. Want me to help you? No, he's got it. Sounds like he's building a house. Because he's locked in his office. He's got no place to go. No, can't run. He's a totally freak. <laughs> Come back here. Can <laughs> you do two of them? Yeah, I got one left. <laughs> <laughs> Is the door locked, Dan? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Is that him screaming He's now? To the yeah. wall. He's going to make us get the drill out. <laughs> <laughs> Just patch the hole. Hold on, i got to ask you something. Yeah, all right, we'll wait. J.D. wants to uh, run some little quiz by me anyway. Let me know right before you do it. All right. What are some of the questions you have? This was in D? Yeah, it was the um, D Magazine. All right. Just 80s trivia. I thought I'd be better at it than, than I was. All right. Um, that was difficult. Well, just ask me some of them. Uh, just uh, match each airline with its 80s advertising slogan. All right. Uh, loving you is what we do. Braniff. Hold on. No. Southwest. Hey, very good. All right. Doing what we do best. Uh, American Airlines. That is correct. Thank you. We get you there with flying colors. Hold on a second, Eddie. Ready? All right. Eddie's going to push a pack of black cats on there. Ha, 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 ha,
<laughs> Was that a whole pack? Yeah. Let's go quick. <clears throat> what else you got? <laughs> I got some kind of rocket thing. I don't know what it does. You mean it flies? Yeah. That's probably not. Good that's probably not a good idea. Do, do. do you have any bottle rockets? Not here. No. Oh. Go ahead, JD. Uh, we get you there with flying colors. Uh, Vanguard. No. Nope. Vanguard. <laughs> Value jet. No. United. No. Think of the airline that had all different color airplanes in the 80s. Uh. Hmm. We don't know. Brian. Okay. Uh, we pass that one up. Go ahead. This is Dan. This is probably a Dan question. In 1983, Danny White, Randy White, and other Dallas Cowboys were featured in a comic book combating villains even more hideous than George Allen and Buddy Ryan. Who this was is all? Lo- this is, yeah, these are these are Dallas Cowboys. Who were the boys in blue team teamed with this in the noble effort? Eddie, go hit him again. Here are the choices. I don't care you, what you take. Give me an idea. Uh, Spider Man. No. Oh, no. you're right. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. That was a Singer Harris comic book. Very good. Mm-hmm. Very good. I, I still have like four or five of those. Okay. Go ahead. What else? An unsuccessful effort to keep SMU students away from the 8-0 in the quadrangle when it opened in 1980. Owner Shannon Wind adopted an icon of a slash through which of the following symbols? A rotunda, a Mustang, a slice of pepperoni pizza, or the Izod alligator? Probably the Izod. I mean, the Mustang makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. So which was it? You're correct. The eyes 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 eyes. Go ahead. Okay. In the early 80s, who starred in The Owl and the Pussycat at Granny's Dinner Playhouse Theater on Coy Road? The Owl and the Pussycat. Well, you want me to give you your choices or not? Go ahead, Eddie. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Do that one. I get the fire extinguisher handy. <laughs> this one's got wings. <laughs> it's done. That one didn't explode. Yeah. A lot of smoke, though. He'll come out if it gets too bad. <laughs> Is he going to do another one? Go ahead, Eddie. <laughs> we'll smoke him out. <laughs> what did that one do? It spun and went about six feet off the ground. I was like, I see the line coming through. The <laughs> God, he's so rude. He's gonna Go ahead. What else you got? Move his office. The episode of Dallas that aired November twenty first, uh, nineteen eighty, during uh, which the world learned that Kristen had shot Jr. was viewed by more people than ever watched TV. A TV program, true or false? Uh, that is at that at that time. Yes, at that time. Oh, that's true. It is true. All right. KZWFM, affectionately known as the Zoo, to loyal Dallas Rock listeners. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What's the number? Five four five. Five eight three twenty five forty five. That's too many numbers. Two one four. Yeah. Five eight three. Twenty-five forty-five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't quit it. I hear you coughing. You should come out. Rob, answer the phone. It's fresh air out here, Rob. He's going to come through the wall in a second like the Kool-Aid guy. <laughs> hey, you've reached the marketing and promotions department of 105.3 FM, the talk that rocks, and the new Wild 100.3. Uh, this is Rob Riddleman. Hmm. I guess he's not answering his phone. <laughs> Ray Kitty? <laughs> All right, now let's go talk with Rob and explain to him about radio. <laughs> <laughs> More 
of the Russ Martin Show coming right up. The new one that guy went three. Where he was stuck was just right over here, over the the lights, over the window. Over the window of our studio? Yeah. Between our was, studio and the lobby. Uh, and he was stuck up in that little crawl space between the two walls. Yeah, we can't get him out, so we're taking pictures. <laughs> Oh, Malik's, oh, Malik's over there taking pictures of him. You can see part of him. I guess, I guess he was just trying to get out of his office. He didn't want to come out the door. I thought he was about to fall through because I heard something crash. And I heard, he said, oh, S, I broke something. So there, he broke something. Up well, whatever he breaks, this is his own fault. we got nothing to do with it. I'll chase him in there. You want to have to pay for it? You're right. Don't fall. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you adult. <laughs> Stupid schmo. <clears throat> hmm. Dan, look, uh, walk over there really quick. Okay. I'll turn the outdoor mic on. Tell me if he's um, if he's still in there. Rob? <laughs> oh, okay. He's coming down now. <laughs> You okay, buddy? He's covered head to toe. Oh, with what? <laughs> What's he covered with? The dirt from up in the attic. Oh. I was laughing. Like the door. Dirt, concrete, dust, <clears throat> plaster. Why didn't he just come out the front door? I don't know, goof. Is he about to come down the hall? There he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they should just, just have a sitcom. He actually thought he was going to be able to punch his way through the plaster and concrete and steel. Of... <laughs> I was wondering why he wasn't screaming when Eddie was blowing the fireworks back into his office. Yeah. Don't let him in. What are you, nuts? Door's locked, right? Yes. Okay. We should apologize. Why? Ow. Oh, yeah, we should apologize. Get the real gun in here. <laughs> Because he may get some bad roids one day. <laughs> yes. And come over the counter and get me. Yeah, you know what? There's no reason to do this. Because I'm going to shoot him. He's going to cuss and nobody's going to hear it. <laughs> Let him in anyway. <laughs> Rob? Did he go down the hall? Oh, he went down the bathroom to clean up. <laughs> I feel bad. No, you don't. Yeah, you can hear that down the hall, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, I hear. Go ahead. Are we on in the bathroom? No. Uh, no. Well, 100 is. Okay, good. Hey, you guys turn the radio off out there. Close the door. Faster. The monster's coming. Oh. Throwing stuff. Down on a sign. What did he just throw? He threw some water or something. Water. Not an electric sign. Rob. <laughs> he rounded the corner. He what? He rounded the corner. He had a big old cup of water. And I went, I mean, just as he rounded the corner, he just looked. And I went, bam, 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 bam. The water just went all the way. You know, now, now what we're stuck in. <laughs> yeah, we can't leave. <laughs> Damn, we're stuck in the tree for another couple of hours. <laughs> That's a weird feeling, trying to get the door closed, knowing some great big monster is yeah. coming in. It. I'm pulling it as hard as I could. <laughs> and it's happening in slow motion. <sighs> College was an effing waste of time. <laughs> I don't know why I messed with it. Yeah. All right. Let's do the plugs and then relax for about an hour. <laughs> we got TV. Yeah. He won't stay here long. Go ahead, Dan. To learn more about the Russ Martin Show, to email anyone on the show, to get in the studio audience, to make a donation to the Listener Foundation, or to get on the show's weekly email list, simply go to RussMartin.com. The Russ Martin Show Police and Firefighter Poster is now available for purchase. For more information, just go to RussMartin.com and click on News. Design of the Russ Martin Show Poster by Junebug Graphics, JuneBugGraphics.com, and printing courtesy of the Imaging Bureau, ImagingBureau.com. For more information on the White Trash 2002 Party, October 18th at Jay Gilligan's in Arlington, featuring Loverboy, you can find that at RussMartin.com as well. 
to email us during the show and only during the show. Send your messages to studio at russmartin.com. Visit our news director's links and photo gallery at johndavidryan.com. To find Eddie's fascinating and provocative website, go to eddieboyd.com. My website is now online. You can find that at danlewis.net. For information about the rest of the station, go to 1053fmtalk.com. Rob's out, out there waving his real gun. Yeah. I don't know if you know, so we all pulled out, out while you were reading. All the guys out in the studio were <laughs> clearing out. It looked like something out of hind. <laughs> all right, are we done? We're done. Okay. See you guys tomorrow. Yeah. All right, bye. Russ Martin's Game of the Day is brought to you by ProFlowers.com. Go to ProFlowers.com today for fresh flowers direct from the grower. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in Russ.